really, really bad. Welcome along to Obviously Fight Talk episode 28. This is a Muay Thai extra- extravaganza. This is a special episode. We're joined by the Suicide Squad themselves from Courage Muay Thai. We have the best referee in the business, head coach of Courage. We have Walter Scott on the show. We have James Donkey O'Connell on the show. And we have Dylan Meager. <laughs> Dylan Meager on the show. So welcome along, lads. Thanks very much for having us, yeah. Um, as always, we're brought uh, to you by MMAMix.com for all your MMA needs. Check them out, and we're coming at you from, if you're watching on YouTube, from the beautiful Whiskey Fair. You want a good point or a bit of good grub, come to the Whiskey Fair. So I'm joined, as always, by my colleague here, Rob Pollan. Thanks for having me, man. And unfortunately, uh, Carl couldn't make it today, so um, we'll see Carl next week. But uh, yeah, lads, welcome along to, obviously, Fight Talk. Um, I have to say, start off, Donkey, I think it possibly could be only Emma, uh, my toy fighter that comes out to the Bee Gees. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I started a joke as a BG song, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, welcome along, lads. So um, we've had Craig Coakley on previously, and we had Keen Cowley on. So we, we have had <coughs> Toy Fighters on before. But when Keen was on, we spoke more about MMA. But uh, just great to have you on and sort of get the opinions of uh, speak about different Toy things, better things, horizon. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Uh, Welcome along anyway, boys. Yeah, nice to be here. Nice to be nice here. Nice to talk about Thai boxing. Yeah, yeah. so... Uh, it, is the, it is the major stand-up sport in the world, like, yeah, in, yeah, even yeah. in MMA. <laughs> who, who, who had one minute? Who had one minute on, on Molly? Um, yeah, so just just a, a, a little history about you first, lad. So, uh, Walter being the, the uh, coach of uh, Courage, what, what got you into Thai as, as a young man growing up in, in Ireland? What, what, what got you into Thai? I all started, I, I moved to England when I was only 17 for work. And um, I'd done a lot of sport, GA, athletics and stuff like that here. And I was just working, coming home every day and doing nothing. And I was actually walking past a Spartan Thai box in Manchester every evening and looking in the window and thinking, you know, I'd like to give it a go. And one day I walked in and before I knew it, I was signed up and I went on from there. I had a, I only had 30 fights. I didn't have a massive fight career. I only had 30 fights, uh, but I became British champion. Area champion of England and Irish champion came out of retirement in 2008 for an Irish title. Uh, nice record, 30, 30 wins with one loss, so it's not too bad. Like, you know, it's pretty impressive record, yeah. yeah. Um, and then obviously, now you, you've set up courage to uh, my toy as well, so you're in there. How did that come to fruition? Was that just coming back home? Just looking, I, at I always plan when I moved back to Ireland, I always plan to move back to Ireland first of all, and then I as soon as I come back, I, I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to start up a club over there. I knew there'd be hungry lads that wanted to give it a go and I just sold up in England, sold up the house, bought a couple of grand's worth of gear, moved back to Ireland, opened up in the community hall, first of all, most people do, and then we moved on to the place we have now. So that's how it all started. And then the the two young men to your right, um, uh, we introduced you there as a suicide squad because if you've ever attended um, a Muay Thai show, um, when Courage are in a corner, it certainly is. Uh, it's uh, mayhem in the we're corner, we're but in a good way, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's pure passion. I put it up when we were saying these are coming on the show. You see a lot of clubs at shows and, you know, banging the ring or whatever, but the excitement and the <laughs> passion that is shown from yeah. you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all the excitement, yeah. yeah. It's just madness, like. It's, yeah, yeah. But it's... Um, Again, like especially when when donkeys fighting, there's just this sense of. Uh, we we say this to you know before, before I forget. We were in the gyms early. <laughs> we were talking about him, yeah. T- just talking about Keith in general. We were talking about him when you're fighting. When you're fighting someone, make sure you. <laughs> 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 you get all emotions. We get all emotions. Sure <laughs> make sure you fucking give it. Certain, <laughs> cer- certain fighters though, certain fighters need really firing up. Yeah. Certain fighters need to be calmed down. It's crazy. Is as crazy as our corner might seem. There's a couple of fighters that we've had in the past and I've said, right, you're going to go out and you're going to get through the first round. No no craziness at all. You're going to get through the first round and then we're going to build up. Some lads have to be held back that late. You know they haven't got the cardio for five cra- no crazy rounds. Sense. Two lads to me right here. I know for a fact if there was seven rounds in Thai boxing, these lads would still be going at 90% plus in the, f- in the seventh round. Do you know what I mean? They have that type of stamina <laughs> level. But there's other fighters, you know, they don't have that type of level. Mm. But I mean... James feeds off the madness. Dylan definitely feeds off the madness as well. Sean Long was a bit cooler. He's one of the good fighters. He, he hasn't fired for a long time, but he was a little bit cooler and he was he had enough, you, you know. But like I say, we are a bit crazy in the corner, but it's a kind of a controlled madness yeah. as well. Is that exactly. something that you notice when they first come into the gym, like as people, that you notice, okay, this guy's going to need more of a, a pumping up before a fight? Yeah. Or is it something you kind of Everyone's realize different, like, but we, 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 we're, we're all we're, we're good in the corner. Like, we, we like... We know, as he said, we, we, we 
like from training lads like a couple of guys in the gym like you kind of have to babysit him and make sure he's yeah. oh he, he, he'll be okay it's fine <laughs> that'd be me yeah. 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 other lads you kind of no go on go on <laughs> like, no, come on like the, the you need to kick, kick him up the hole <laughs> <laughs> my favourite fight my favourite fight of the last few years without a doubt is James's fight with Aaron <laughs> and <laughs> if anyone was in the change room Cork before, or Dublin Cork Cork yeah Simon yeah. Warriors Cork biggest shows in Ireland like you know yeah. what I mean but uh, before that fight I, I could have wrote the script for that fight I could have wrote... Now, I didn't know we were definitely going to win it or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, but I said to James, you are going to get beat up for two I'm rounds. get the shit kicked out of me. Yeah. For two <laughs> rounds, you're going to get beat up. Mm. You are going to be bleeding and you're going to be bruised yeah. Yeah. and you're going to be beat up for two rounds and I will be repairing cuts on your face after round two. I said, and I guarantee you then the fight's going to turn around. By the end of round three, he was already starting to cruise. Round four, he was coming away. Round five, he won the fight. And people were like... What type of a game plan is that? It was the only game plan for that fight. Mm-hmm. The only game plan for that fight. Well, that fight was the rematch, of course, from Cage Kings and Dublin, which a lot of people were torn on that decision. Um, no, 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 no. Aaron down on Super Show. I'm thinking Cage Kings. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did funny actually. That fight actually, I was completely reversing the script. I remember talking to someone. Ringside when that fight ended, I'm like, oh, I don't think, I don't think Donkey got it. I don't think Donkey got it. And I sort of said. Are you watching the same fight as me no, there? No. Because your clinch work, your knees in the clinch, and every yeah. time you score. Because I remember I sat with you at uh, Warrior Donkey, and yeah. we, I was sort of saying to you, sometimes the toy score and throws me. I, I, yeah. I, I think, Jace, he's done loads. I explained And you it, broke right? it down with the whole, yeah, that's the, that's the, you're my bitch when you get his back and give him an L knee. Yeah, 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 exactly, you know? yeah. And so every time yeah. I do that, I go, that's called the, uh, the yeah. bitch. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's like the, the, the injection slap, like, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, in a sense. But, um, yeah, I thought that was a great performance by you. I just thought you're clean. Like again, I, I could be wrong in saying it, but any time I see a courage toy fighter and I see someone clinch with them, I always go, "That's a fucking bad idea, clinching." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, that is our style. We are clinch fighters. Now, don't get me wrong. We have Did a couple. Did you see him? We, we Did a, you ever see him fight? Yeah, I, Did you ever I, see I, him fight? I would spend the seventy percent of every fight in the clinch, oh, so. and I would keep when the referee would break me, I would go straight back into the clinch. And, and say, I used to talk. I used, my I used to you talk. Just, keep telling real. people when I was fighting, "Welcome to my world." When I was ho- holding the clinch, in the and I keep saying to them, "This is the happy place," stuff like that. I used to pat fighters on the back at the end of the round, say, "Well done," and stuff like that. You're doing well. <laughs> so, you're doing well. I mean, whatever it takes to win, you know. Well, a, f- a fight that stood out for that clinch work for me as well with, with you, James, was when you fought Darren McFall in the yeah. Ireland yeah, China, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. The fir- yeah. yeah, the yeah. first round, I think you could fairly say yeah. no, Darren won, Darren won the first he, he round. By a mile. Round by well. a mile yeah. And yeah. then uh, the second round, it got into the clinch, and then the knees and the clinch, they yeah. cut on Darren's head, yeah. and mm-hmm. I was just. What, what done Darren in that fight, what done Darren in that fight was right at the end of the first round, James grabbed him. And he just felt how easy it was going to be to clinch with him. Ooh, like he, like he's this. a very, yeah. very strong clincher for his weight. Like, mm. you know, yeah, he'd even hold up against me in the clinch when we're training. Like, you know, I'm trying to get. Oh uh, no! We, we'd set, we, we, down, you know, we, we should charge people strong. to come in and watch the two of us <laughs> kill each other. Like, <laughs> but it's a, it, it, it's a part of the game. You have it's to. Jay, exactly. yeah. There's so many good striking gyms in Ireland, and I mean, there's some class Thai boxing gyms in Ireland. And the one thing I don't see in any of the gyms is major clinching. Mm. Some are good at trips and some are good at sweeps and all this crap, but they don't want to stay in the clinch. They'll go into the clinch, sweep you, try and knee on the way down, but they don't actually want to fight in the clinch. So if you bring some, that's our thing. That is our, bring that something new that they can't cope with and get on them, keep on them, like keep pushing lads, on them. We've lads that fight like and they don't like clinch. They hate, they absolutely hate in, in the gym and hate, hate clinching me or hate clinching Dylan, hate clinching Wally. But when they go to fight, then they get, in, they get, in, they get into the ring. They get in clinching a lad that they, is the same level as them, mm. and they they kind of go. They come back after the round. They go, at the, after, yeah. at the end of the fight, go. Just I feel fair strong and they clinch. Yeah, you exactly. see, yeah, you see. see. Yeah. Yeah. that's from training. That's what clinching with better lads are better than it. That's the way you get better. Mm. And then you realize them with someone your own level, you go in and you you fuck them about. There's right? not there's not too many lads better than James at clinching, but you have to remember James is a 57 kilo fighter, so he's mm. clinching bigger lads than them all the time. Oh, so they don't have to be better than them if they're bigger and physically heavier and stronger and he's holding his own with them as soon as he gets his hands on a 57 kilo guy it's bad news for them you know yeah it's the truth yeah and you can see like you can't see that in your fights like the, yeah. the Darren one really stands out for me in, in that because it, it was uh, like a football analogy uh, John Hanek will love me it was um, mm-hmm. 
it, it was a game of both halves you know what I mean it was a two sided yeah. game yeah. first round was all totally uh, Darren it looked, for one minute it looked like Darren was going to get you out of there yeah. Um, yeah and then the second round was a, a complete coin yeah. flip speaking about Pretty almost getting out of there I'm going to bring up the, yeah. the <laughs> spinning <laughs> wheel <laughs> kick of oh, death sorry. From uh, Damien Darker on you. Yeah, yeah. That was the first kick. Rob was in attendance at that. It was the first kick <laughs> yeah. of the fight. Oh, man. You go down. <laughs> now, I always say, right now, don't take offence or don't hit me. I always say, if I was ever a fighter, I'd hate to fight a ginger fella. I've heard this before. I've heard And this, the yeah. reason I did, because the more you hit them, the more fucking insane you exactly, get. Yeah, and yeah. you are the embodiment of yeah, that guy. Yeah. Like, like, you just get crazy yeah, after yeah. that. But that wheel kick, like, I just I remember How did get I up just from remember that? starting the fight like and I wasn't I was expecting him to throw all this spinny shit like you know but not so like, as I came out, I, came out <laughs> I was like I was used to you know tie boxing fights come out touch gloves like whatever so I put my hand out and next thing I was on the ground I was kind of fuck I bounced back up but you know like when I bounced back up I didn't feel too bad you know I could kind of I was looking at him and I was kind of like right I'm fucking I'm grand like you know and he came at me with another one and I fell against the cage. So in my head then I was like, right, I'm here now, you know, like I have to fucking, I have to show up, like I can't just yeah. stand here and I, I, fucking I take this, like, so, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was the toughest fight I've ever been in, like, you know, he was a fucking, top class K1, top for, class top K1, K1 but you can see what he done to, uh, see what his next out. fight, yeah, yeah, the spinning, you know what I mean, yeah, like, I was, like, I was kind of well, looking, because yeah. I watched the DVD back, um, of myself and Damien fighting, like, and he hit me fucking three or four to the head, like, you know, and then I kind of watched the next one, like, Jesus, I, I, like, this fella's in hospital probably, like, you know, like, but, um, he wasn't like, I know there was a lot of controversy after the fight, like, you yeah. know, a lot of people thought he won it, but I think it was a lot of, like, mainly it was his gym, like, you know, his fans. Was that, that a K1 fight? It was a K1 fight, yeah. It was a K1 fight, yeah. It doesn't matter, though. It, it, it doesn't matter, like, when, when you're fighting K1, like, he might show a fancy technique. It's the same as in the UFC, but it still only scores one point. Yeah, exactly. like, yeah. like, a lad in the UFC throws a jumping knee, and then a lad comes out in the next round, boxes his head off him and wins the fight then because he was good boxing yeah. Yeah. You know what? what's the major difference in scoring between the major K1? difference in scoring K1 and Thai boxing is everything is kind of one point so K1, a good yeah. punch is a point yeah. a good knee is a point yeah. a good leg kick is a point a spin and heel kick is a point you, whatever it is yeah. is a point Thai boxing if I land a strong kick to your body and knock you off balance it scores far higher than a good punch it scores Makes far sense. higher than a lower ki- low kick yeah. a big knee to the body that folds you over yeah, yeah. Thai boxing to score Thai boxing is crazy. Uh, the easiest way to describe it for people that are watching that don't understand Thai boxing is we've all played Tekken, yeah? We've all played Tekken. <laughs> so get your, your bar, power bars in Tekken, right? And instead of your power bars going down, your power bars go up, right? So even though you may win the first round, the second round, and the third round, we say you win them by 5%, we'll give a percentage. Mm. You win round one by 5%, Round two, even 10%, we'll say. Round two by 10%, round three by 10%. Come out in round four, and it comes back to a draw. And I come out in round five and win it by 50%. Who has the most percentage? Mm. I do. I win the fight. It's yeah. so, you know, the so tech... It's more, it's more scored over percentage over it's, the five like, rounds like rather than rounds, yeah. A guy who's playing... Yeah, like a street, like fight. A street fight. Who would finish stronger? Uh, stronger? You know, it's like a race. I can, yeah. I can sit behind you in a race. We can run... 500 meter race I can sit behind you for 400 meters in the race as long as I pass you on the line yeah. I win yeah for the MMA fans who listen it's similar to what Pride used to be Pride was the yeah. same thing where yeah. they'd score exactly. the full fight yeah. rather than say okay he won this round he won yeah, this round yeah. whoever, it's whoever it got it's, beat it's not fair you beat. think about it yeah. you, you think about a guy just, just snatching around yeah. just snatching around he just snatches the next round and just snatches the next round and then the guy comes out and beats, beats him up in round four yeah. and five and he loses the fight like yeah. it's, it, it is for me it sort of eliminates the whole point scoring idea it's a fair a, way of scoring you know it's, it's a fair way of scoring think, yeah and what See, about like, I was watching the sorry no I was watching the when I was watching the fight back I can understand when people were you know watching it live with all this spinning shit they were probably like whoa you know like Jesus he's this lad is unreal like but as I watched it back you can see every time he's landing for one spin kick he lands I'm getting three body kicks like one two three three leg kicks you know I was constantly I wasn't throwing a single kick at all the fight it was and the good two, the good thing about that fight is three, so the good thing about that fight is up and adding up and adding yeah. up like K one like it is it's just constantly adding up the score so like one big technique which looks like it might hurt me, like, is still one point, whereas I'm landing yeah. three kicks there, yeah, yeah, three yeah. points, you know. But so. if, you, if you look at the good thing about that fight, the best thing of all about the scoring on that fight is there was no Irish judges involved. Yeah. Oh, there was, yeah, there yeah, was yeah, no, yeah, yeah. There was no sure. judge yeah. ringside that, you know, loved Dylan. Oh, I love Dylan. Because that can sway you. You know, yeah, it can yeah. sway you as a judge. You know, you can... Sometimes you're, I'm judging and I have to think, right, oh my God, I love this guy now fighting the right, but I'm not. That can't come into it now. Yeah, exactly. I really... But the three judges didn't know Damien and didn't know Dylan. Yeah. And they give Dylan the fight. As simple yeah. as that. If they give Damien the fight in the night, 
I wouldn't have argued it. Do you know what I mean? That's I there's a lot of talk about a rematch as well, but if there is a rematch, it'll be a tie rules. Because like, I fought him under K1 and I beat yeah. him under his rules, so yeah. if he wants to come fight me under my rules. I, now, I, I do. Someone I actually uh, commented on it. Uh, yeah. uh, a, a listener, uh, Joe Clancy, commented saying it was a right. great fight. He'd love to see a rematch or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But what I loved about it is Damon came out and said, uh, huge respect to you for I winning the fight. Yeah, 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 I have yeah. to say yeah. it. Like, so sound. Well. Yeah. He's a fighter. Yeah. Lad, yeah. Lads, there might be a lot of might be a lot of shit talk, but then they're all fighters. They're in the hardest game in the world fighting exactly, each other yeah. there's nothing harder than standing in the ring with another man and the worst fight of all is when go- some guy is just as good as you exactly, if he's yeah. worse than you you can beat him up if he's far better than you he gets you out of there yeah. but when you're both exactly the same you knock lumps out of each other no one's winning you're just picking each other off yeah. picking each other That's, and that was one of them fights was top two fight. guys were you know yeah. Yeah, he's got a big I mean, future in K1 like, I think yeah. he's like well, you're saying from his next one, fight you know? is the yeah, like, yeah, and the, so when you just did you just watch the highlights? You watch the full fight? Of the, of the fight. Uh, I watched the full fight. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he threw that. He's the same as what, what he caught you. He threw a wheel mm. kick in the first round and it he buckled. Did, yeah. uh, I Liam, I can't think of Liam's surname. I can't it's it's escaped either, me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he, he sort of buckled that he, he nearly went, but he got his bearings yeah. back, and it was such a close fight. Yeah, yeah. To pull that off in the third round and finish it was crazy. Yeah, some finish now. When I saw it, I was kind of like, "Whoa, that should have been me." He he is definitely one of the most natural kickers I've yeah, ever seen because yeah. I've been saying to Dylan we, we worked a little bit for kickboxer K1 style lad, and I said to Dylan you got to watch for this shift of his shoulder drop of his left hip to, yeah. for the spin there was no but it was just like that it yeah. was just oh, bomb. There what, was, there was, was you know like, some yeah. guys they go so side yeah. on before they do that it's yeah. fair obvious lean back at your head out of the way smashing a low kick so when they missed it yeah. he was yeah. so good at like yeah. Oh. He did. I, to be honest, I feared for that man's life. <laughs> <laughs> when he threw the first kick, I said, I said oh my. And when, oh, he, when he threw up the, the, the axe, axe kick, kick and, rubbed, oh. and rubbed his face oh, with the axe man. kick, yeah. it didn't hit him, it just rubbed his face. Like I remember when he threw the axe kick as well. I was like, I was oh just my like, oh. god. We didn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't look yeah. at him. Yeah. Like, Jesus but he is so oh, tough. The good, the good thing about it is that I think Damien, as well, in that fight, um, he kind of got this idea that if I go to his body enough, I will yeah. stop him. But no, your car strength is no, just no, core never strength. Never me to the body. Lads, never. There's not too many Thai boxers that fight in the clinch that haven't got core strength. You don't go fighting in the clinch where people are kneeing you in the body unless you can take knees. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can give them out. But you're gonna get, you're gonna get caught with knees in the clinch. Yeah. So if you can't take them, don't fight in the clinch. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So. Lots of training with Sean Long the whole time. Like just that feeling, just him body, him body, bullying. body, bullying me around the place. And come like, here, no speaking what? of the training. Monday night madness. I'm, oh, in, the cur- I'm in the courage toy room. Yeah, I can yeah, see yeah. this picture of the Joker <laughs> oh, getting put up, and you all was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. "What is involved in this?" Uh, the, the, Mon- the, the Monday club, the Monday yeah. club beat him. That's my, that's my class. That's my class, and that is tough. It's we're off for the summer now, but I, I only re- really like doing it, like coming up to a fight camp, like so. But I kind of started off. It's mental, but build it up as the weeks go on. So then, by the time fight week, the, the last. The week before the fight is the last hard week, so it's mm. mental, yeah. horrible. But you, be, the la, then the last week, then fight week, it's ease off the pedal, mm. you know, exactly, but, yeah. and just feel good and don't do all that shit. But we, we try and mix up training a lot. Like you know, you go into go into a lot of Thai gyms and it's very much the same routine all the time. And I know, for instance, I I did that. I trained like that. I trained with my old coach. And we, we kind of had a set routine. But every now and then he'd throw in something crazy. And it didn't matter how fit you were. When training was changed up for one night, it killed you. Mm-hmm. You, were, you were super fit, ready to fight. And then you try, like, we do, we do things like buzzer every 30 seconds. When that buzzer goes, you smash in 10 kicks both sides every 30 seconds. It could be, ma- we're doing like, cra- like CrossFit Thai boxing sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Just something totally different to throw you off. Because yeah. every fighter is different. You know, some fighters kind of hold this yeah, one yeah, pace. It, it, some fighters come at you in little bursts. Mm, so exactly. we try and change it up. I mean, you have to be always thinking as a coach. Uh, you can't think you know everything. It's lovely to go to a seminar with one, one of these top fighters, see how they do things. You have to change it up. You can't stick to the same thing all the time. Well, that's yeah. why in MMA as well, because of the different styles of fighters that you'll be fighting. A lot of fighters move around camp and adopt yeah. new techniques for it. Like if you're yeah, fighting, exactly. like yeah. let's be honest, Conor McGregor's fighting eight days. Yeah, you can see he has yeah. a black belt. Yeah. Jiu-Jitsu world champion yeah. in his camp now, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. the same thing as well. well. He's the same build as Diaz. I think it's yeah. Michael Conlon he brought in. Is that yeah, 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 it was. He's yeah. got yeah. him over yeah. in Vegas. He's like the same body shape as Diaz. You know, same yeah. lane, same arms. So it's boxer, just so. and do you do that like you were saying when you were fighting Damon? That he's adjusted, obviously, it makes sense to adjust. Or do you like a, a lot of SBG fighters, for example, say they only train to fight the, what's uh, they they train. 
to fight. They don't train to fight Pacific yeah, opponents. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you yeah. obviously, when you know well, Leslie well, James' next opponent, you go, right, this this guy X, we're going to fight him and yeah. this is going to be our tactics. Do you yeah. adjust the game plan yeah. or do you just train James well, to fight recently, his Recently, like he fought for the WBC <coughs> belt in England. He's the first ever Irish lad to bring one of those back to Ireland. And uh, there he is there. Behind, right? So, we won't talk about that. So, Anyway, the joke. game plan. We'll edit that. We'll edit that. The guy, the guy that was fighting for that is a guy called Tom McCord from Scotland. Yeah, really good fighter, yeah. top class fighter. Had a really good fight with Aaron years ago on I think uh, a Dublin Tie Show was it? Yeah, Dublin, Dublin Tie, tie show. show. Really close, close fight with Aaron as well. But um, Tam is the kind of one of those fighters, and he <clears> likes to control the fight, and he, he he likes to step back and have a little look and. So it touches touch, touch yeah, the globe yeah, and yeah. slow things down. I noticed that at the end of every round, which yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. But James, like even James said it to me before. It was good. We're on the same wavelength in that one. James said, "I'm going to touch his gloves because I'm a sportsman." At the beginning of every round, but that's it. No more touching gloves. Because yeah. if you ever watch the ties, they're kind of moving around. Yeah. And if someone lands, oh, I land a body kick it. Oh, that was very yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Next thing he lands another one, and you're stood there going, "What?" Two big goes again. So the one for Tam was to have apply pressure all the time because people think you have to be on someone to apply pressure yeah. but just by no, twitching no, the move no, no. and you yeah, can yeah, get them back no, up yeah. and that he, he was on him all the time well yeah. I noticed that in the fight you were constantly coming forward and, yeah. and you were constantly showing and that's a big part of Thai boxing yeah, if you're yeah. backing up it's very hard to win a fight unless you're yeah. really controlling it. you can back up and win a Thai boxing fight because a lot of people think oh if you go backwards for five rounds you can't win you can if you, you can, ruin, yeah. if you ruin yeah. everything that's coming towards you teep and lads sweeping out the front legs stuff like that Going into the clinch then and not mm. fighting in the clinch. People say, oh, he didn't fight at all in the clinch. Yeah, but did you land on the clean? No. Yeah. Even though he yeah. wasn't throwing stuff, he was controlling you in the clinch. You, you know? back on the ropes. Yeah. You, know, yeah. Yeah. you, you were stronger. So, like, no. so, so no, and then but, when you're, you're talking about game plans and stuff, when you're fighting in the ring and then when you're fighting in the cage with the, the Small gloves. smaller gloves, yeah. is there a different approach? Oh, there is, uh, completely. Yeah, as in, the ropes are the ropes are obviously well, give you more. The, oh no, 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 well, not, 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 the not cage the ring, as well. Yeah, more the more about exactly, yeah. the, the gloves. The gloves, gloves are far more. Like yeah. the, 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 the gloves, those MMA yeah, gloves. And I don't know if anyone, I don't know if anyone realised it, but you're stand, you're doing a stand up cage fight. It's, di- it's so much different to fighting, striking on the feet in MMA. A fighter, you, you've been at them, Noel. You've seen the amount of strikes landed yeah. in one round in a cage type boxing fight. And the reason they can throw them is even if I miss, you're not going to take me back and drag me to the floor. Yeah. If yeah. I go onto the floor, they stand me back up again. Yeah. I can go wild again, throw a load more hands, yeah. fall down. It's, it's Thai boxing rules. So I, I know for a fact, I know for a fact, if you watch, you watch the top level UFC strikers in the cage, there might be maybe five or six good punches landed per round. Because... You, they're afraid throw, of the takedown they throw, are throwing throw throw body kicks out, there's yeah. no body kicks really mm, in, no. it's very rare you see throw, someone throwing body kicks in MMA because grab his leg he's on the floor in Thai boxing you can throw in the body kicks you can you can chance a lot more because if you end up on the floor so what stand back up what was the what was the quote somebody said I can't remember who said it but they basically said they're taking the highest level of MMA the most dangerous is in the stand up yeah, and, yeah. and adopting that as the sports which you see when you were at Cage Kings you know yourself well, when you're there you Different as well lads that. but when I'm in and I'm announcing the, the fights and then I turn around and say right it's Cage Toy time yeah. you can just all of a sudden the whole the vibe, the the vibe, the vibe is mint yeah. like it, it's, it's yeah. very a true 100% true MMA fan a guy that's gone walked into a Jiu Jitsu gym and then moved on to a boxing gym or whatever and adapted his sport and then went into the MMA gym. Ask him where he wants to see the fight. He on wants to see it on the feet. Yeah. Who's feet. getting the money in UFC? Yeah, the Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who's getting the f- Why is it that Thai isn't as big as MMA over here at the moment? What I, do you think? Listen, I'm I'm involved in Thai boxing for twenty years. Right? I like we can start naming Thai boxers now. They yeah. can walk into the UFC tomorrow. I guarantee you if they don't Destroy. take him to the floor, they're done in one round. Yeah. One round I would put there's Yods and Clay. Do you know what I mean? Yods and Clay will beat any of the welterweights in in one round. Sanchai. Striking Sanchai. 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 Sanchai was threatening it, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 McGregor and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Barco, I think, is, has been sneaking in now of Jiu Jitsu gyms for a while. Yeah. And I believe, I believe Barco is the first Thai we'll see. Thai superstar, don't get me wrong, there's Thai, yeah, star. Yeah. Thai superstar that we'll see fighting in and I not only that I believe that they're, they're trying to keep him out of it a little bit there's a little bit of that going on as well 
What happens if we have um, MMA fighter like Josie Aldo, I say, who went so long without being beat, and, 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 they, and they bring in, they bring in, <laughs> they bring in Bracco, and Bracco stops him in a round. Like, yeah. will that take a little? Well, you see what will happen there is we'll fight the MMA corner here, right? Yeah, so no, we'll no, fight. no, 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 no. I totally agree. I love MMA. Yeah, I but, love MMA. But, but what my, will happen is, is like it's as you said a minute ago, if if he was to throw a body kick and he times that and bang, catches it, down he goes. and that's yeah. on the mat, it's down a different goes, story. Yeah. Yeah. But like the UFC, uh, obviously being the premier um, promotion. Yeah. They would use that as well, though, as in they'd have a toy fire. And say, oh, they'd build it up that way. Oh, but yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah. And no, you look at there, uh, there hasn't really been a, a high level toy fire to move to MMA. No, really. no, it's been good it. toy fires, yeah. but not really no, the superstars. No, 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 like there's a couple of fighters who have a toy background. Yeah, Donald Cowboy, yeah, Cerrone, and yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Yeah. them. But they're not. The, the most high level would be Joanna. Yeah, you she was. She was yeah, a Joanna. champion. She's an oh, she's yeah. Joanna Georgia. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. she's super. She's one. Yeah. She's my favorite fighter. Yeah, I don't she's care. so she's, good. I don't, I don't she she strikes differently than everybody else in the UFC. Yeah, as well as well as if you look at um if you look at Holly Holmes. Yeah, you know, and when she fought Ronda Rousey. Yeah, people saying Ronda Rousey can't take Holly Holmes down. Of course she can. She can fight her tomorrow and take it on the first round and finish her. Yeah. But what happened was she fooled herself into believing she could strike with yeah, her. Yeah, 100%. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. And, and once, she lost. once you've had five or six good straight punches on the chin, <clears throat> You haven't got the you haven't got the the explosiveness left in your legs to take someone down. Well, you could yeah. see her panic once yeah. she got hit yeah. really hard. You could see her panic yeah, yeah, and her yeah. hands start dropping. And, and, and I've been like hurt. That. I've been hurt in fights, and I've gone to walk forward, and I can't even walk forward. I can't oh, even take yeah. a step forward. So how can I'm you fine, Ref? I swear, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> how many fingers are up? Easy oh. pipe let's, let's, try and guess the, let's try and guess this right. Three. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Well, you, but like I say, that's all that happened with Holly Holmes in that fight. She got she got hit so hard, it took an awful lot of explosiveness out of her legs. She couldn't shoot hard enough to take her down. And someone stupidly taught her to box and told her she could box with it. No, you can't. You can't box but you with see, a what boxer. Is she, f- yeah. she fought sort of lower, lower level strikers yeah. mm. and she looked all right. Like hitting mitts, she looks amazing, yeah, but mitts don't hit you back. No, no, you know no. I, mean? I could, exactly. I could take a guy in one week, in one week, I could take a guy into the gym and if they left him with me for two hours every night and I can do this with anyone, I promise you can do this with anyone, I can put together a video at the end of the week and he looked like put, fucking put up, put up, Rocky Balboa. And, and, and just say, okay, how long has he been striking? Mm. I guarantee you that no one would say striking for at least le- less than six months. That's in one week I can do that. Any good coach can. Yeah. Any, yeah. Mitts. Oh, my God. I can show you videos of my own kid when he was six years old hitting mitts. Yeah. And they blow your mind. A lot of it is the way they coach holds them as well, isn't it? She's fucking deadly, too. A lot of it is the way the coach actually holds the mitts as well. Of course it is. That's, a, that's a big part of it. <laughs> Yeah, hitting, yeah. The, hitting your glove. Your glove is traveling forward at 80 miles an hour. Yeah. And I'm hitting it at 80. That's 160. Yeah. Punched on landed at 160, yeah. lands at 80. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. simple as that. Like. And uh, speaking of MMA, when you look at it, so we're talking about strikers. Yeah. Who, in your opinion, while you're looking at it, I'll go down the line, right? So we'll go with Wally Force. Right. Who, in your opinion, is the best striker in the UFC that you can think of? of yeah, sure, I suppose I've said this now and I upset a lot of people, Irish fans. Josie Aldo's my favourite. Yeah. Thai box, th- yeah. 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 MMA fighter of all time. <laughs> yeah. MMA fighter of all time. I love him. I love him. Did you watch his last fight? Yeah. yeah. He was, and a lot of people saying he was boring. No, he wasn't. He, he, he sat back. He sat back and he has to be clever. He has to now be clever. You know, he can't. Go out and do the rounds and win the fight. Oh, yeah. He can't be reckless anymore. I think it was one of his better performances. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, you, you, what it is, it goes out reckless against Frank Edgar, gets knocked out. Yeah. Where does he stand then? Yeah, yeah. True. Where does he stand then? He was you afraid. Know, he, was, <laughs> when did you see him moving his head before? He was afraid. Yeah. Dipping yeah. shots. Yeah. Coming back. Yeah. Cutting angles. So yeah. for you, he's the best. He's the best in he's the UFC at the moment. Yeah, he's he's my favorite. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's the best, but he's my favorite striker of all time. I mean, people see, it's like all fighters. They get beat and they're forgot. Yeah, that's, that's the hard yeah, thing yeah, about yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's so hard. You look back on Jose Aldo. It's highlights. cutthroat, like. Look back on his yeah. fights. Look back and. You know, jumping off the cage and cracking people in the face, knocking them out. It out happens best. with everybody. Like you know, Muhammad Ali when he everyone. lost. And do you know what, lads? Do you know what the sick thing about the fight game is? The one thing I hate about the fight game is 
people are waiting for that fall. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, oh, they yeah, are. No. Well, you see, you look you like you look at he McGregor. He's seeing champions lose. Oh, well, yeah, see, he well, does. I don't love seeing champions. I just I hate it when a champion turns into an arsehole. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, oh, yeah, yeah. No, any I champion like that's an arsehole is, needs a slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah like definitely. Anderson Silva when he starts doing all that clowning. You want to yeah, see yeah, me yeah, when Chris Weidman knocked Anderson Silva out. I was nearly diving in the telly to hug Chris Weidman. Like, do you know what I mean? Silva's been there in front of But then I sort of, I got on Silva's team then. I was like, Get him on the road to get him back, and it was good to see him coming back and all. And a good redemption story. But yeah, but like uh, you know, yeah. I just hate people that when they get there, just turn into an arsehole. You know I mean, I I'll just give you an instance. No I one, no one ever liked Ronda Rousey. Yeah, no one ever liked her, right? But I I will say, anytime she ever stopped someone in half a round. The whole stadium was on his feet. Yeah. Facebook went wild. The woman is yeah. she's the best in the world. As soon as she got bet, yeah. my God, did yeah. they rip the guts out of that Horrible. poor girl. Yeah. Do you know, and I hate that shit. Like, yeah. she's put her whole life into that yeah. game. You know what I mean? talking about fighting men at one stage. Everyone yeah. was yeah. on her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. getting into her man. Yeah. So I'm and moving down the... Yeah. the shit out of her as soon as she lost Big it. Big time, man. Like, that yeah. is. It's a fickle community. That's moving it, down the line, James. So I don't think we have to be a rocket scientist to figure out your favourite fighter, but who do you think is the best striker in the UFC or MMA? It has to be Joanna Jajajic. Yeah. And that's a fact. Mm. I don't and I don't I don't give a shit. You talk you talk about anyone, look at her. Just it, Joanne came at her for two rounds and like she took that. She said and she knew that was coming and mm. took that and then she upped it in mm. round three Straight and up. upped it in round four. And looked like she could up it again in round that's five. Tie that's Tyboxing yeah. yeah. See, that's yeah. Tyboxing. The that engine is, that woman has she's is so many tie boxing I'd actually legs. picked Claudia in that fight yeah, on this one. Yeah. I I'd picked her. Because I just thought do you know what? When she was on tough, I get emotionally involved when I watch people, and she was yeah. being an absolute. Oh, yeah. On, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, "She's a bully, like, come <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, Claudia, yeah, get her, like, yeah, you know what I mean?" But inside up. the cage, she's no, phenomenal. I mean, there, there, is, there is that side of it. There is that excitement. All right, bitch. But I love to see. I love to see champions retain the titles. I do. Yeah, I know yeah, people yeah. say, "Oh, it's great when they look," but. Just to see that level where someone can just retain the title. I love Dominic Champion. Another, yeah, another, yeah another. I don't think people realise how difficult it is for a champion to hold on for a title for oh my seven, God. eight, nine oh, fights. That's what's, hap- what's happening in, in that weight division at Ronda yeah, Rose. Yeah, it's just flipping. It. Yeah, flipping. Four different yeah. champions my in turn. three fights tonight. My turn. So, Dylan, who's your out yeah. of all? Um, of all time, it has to be Anderson Silva. Like, so he's the one that got me into UFC. Mm. At the start, I kind of saw a video of him. Like, just I was like, "What the fuck is this guy?" Like, yeah, you know, I was kind of yeah. watching him. Like, this fella's like a glitch in the matrix. Like, yeah. But um, ever since he kind of fell off, like that, this new guy, um, he's not new, but he's you know Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. really starting to impress me yeah, lately. Like, yeah. he's uh, at, like at the moment, I think he's currently the best striker in yeah. UFC. Yeah, but what he did to Johnny Hendricks, like I thought I was always a big fan of Johnny Hendricks. He's falling off his, the wagon. Yeah, yeah exactly. And Hendricks, like, I was kind of yeah. thinking, like this could be a good fight now. Maybe Hendricks will get back on his role. Like, yeah. yeah. What Thompson did to him so, is yeah. ridiculous. So yeah. Yeah. at the moment, it's definitely Thompson. Yeah. He's an exciting. Speaking, lad, like. you said Anderson Silva. Speaking of Muay Thai, yeah. he was one of the first guys who. Yeah. Well, MMA fans would have seen you as Muay Thai. Yeah, MMA, true that. Yeah, yeah, which is why I kind of was kind of looking at Muay Thai champion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. clinch he got rich Franklin clinch. in. Like, yeah. Holy yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. never seen oh. that. I can't believe poor Franklin's face. Yeah, yeah. Twice, <laughs> and he fought yeah. him twice. Like, yeah, yeah. twice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like people, you were talking back that far. Like, there's not too many people talk about MMA back as far as even those mm. fights, you know. Mm. And uh, my favorite fighter of all time, all time, is Randy Couture. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is a man one. that walks into MMA yeah. when he should be putting on his slippers and sitting down <laughs> yeah, and relaxing yeah, yeah. and chilling out. You yeah. know what I mean? And still dominates the sport. Like, yeah, yeah. it's like people don't even realize he's probably the best fighter of all time. If he'd been in that sport at 25 years old, yeah, what would he have done? Yeah, you know, he, was, he was wrestling, yeah, yeah, but he wasn't fighting. See, the sport MMA. didn't exist, and he's also yeah. exist, oh, yeah, you know? yeah. And he true. walks into it in his late thirties. Two weight yeah. classes as well. Two yeah. weight classes. True, yeah. Unbelievable. And he it, it wasn't my Muay Thai clinch, but he, he used the clinch. Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah. he started to wreck our arm and dirty yeah, boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty yeah. boxing. Yeah. Yeah. Pressure. No, Thai boxing is wrestling on your feet. Yeah. 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 That's it, wrestling yeah. on your feet, like you know what I mean? There's a lot of takedowns in Thai boxing. And then Brock Lesnar wrapped him. Trips and stuff. Brock Lesnar. And then Brock Lesnar finished him. Well you don't like that. Then again, what age was Brock Lesnar? What age was Randy Tour? Again, like, I always say and, and I sound like a, just repeat myself I sound like a work for this man but Carlos Condon would be my favourite striker in the UFC yeah. I just think yeah. his movement the way he yeah. picks his shots he can like the good thing about Carlos Condon is you're saying he's 
the MMA fighters don't throw that many kicks. Kind of does yeah. for the reason why he does is because he's he's really good on the ground. He's yeah. good on his back. Like he doesn't he can, mind. He doesn't mind. Yeah. Taken down. So if he gets taken down, he'll take the risk. Now his next fight is against Damian Moyes, so that might be a little different this yeah, time round. Yeah. But I, yeah. I'm just a big. Yeah, like Kyle's against Robbie Lawler. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did we just become best friends? Yeah. <laughs> um, I was watching the fight at home 100%. I was like, oh, fuck, like, Lawler's after losing. Next thing, Robbie Lawler. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I, was like, I love Lawler, yeah. but you can't do that. No, no. Can't I, was, I was actually, uh, Carlos Conjure put a picture up on Snapchat. You see that? Yeah. There's a picture of that poster. Um, and his dog got it or something. And he said, oh, now the, now the poster's uh, just as bad as the decision yeah, or something. Yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. no, just <laughs> absolutely, Rob. Oh, he was, man. That was, that was a terrible decision. Who's yeah. your favourite striker, though? Come on. Uh, a lot was taken, wasn't it? I'd probably go with Joanna. Yeah, yeah. I'd go with yeah. that one. Um, yeah. like, there's a lot more there as well, but like, Connor's a good boxer. Very, he has good hands. Um, but I'd probably go with Joanna for overall striking. Yeah. Like, she's look, she's Con- so much Connor, better. lads, look. I, I'm not going to hide this Conor was never one of my favourite fighters yeah. mm. so never because I don't know is it is it, I'm very old school type boxing respect is a big part of the game you know but I mean I can't take it away from him he's fucking he's, what he's done in the amount of time he's done is crazy I think this is a bit Put of a bad I think this, think this is a bad yeah. decision this next fight Diaz bad decision. Yes. Bad mm. decision. Yeah. I said that first when I came around, but you know what? I fall for all the. I'm completely <laughs> get emotionally attached with yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd be would, like Robbie Lawler, Woodley. I'm not that excited about this fight. Uh, next next week is it? Next week, yeah. Stick Joe Rogan on a promo talk, and I'll be going. This is yeah. a fucking fight. I can't <laughs> wait for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm completely. <laughs> so like with McGregor okay. Diaz, I was real. Oh, this is a bad one. Why is he taking mm. it again? And that's I just prove everyone wrong though. Yeah, but that's it. That's yeah. that's the man has got fucking balls the size of fucking beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Listen, and and he probably he, has like as much as I he didn't is. like him, and as much as I I still watch them, yeah. I still watch him. But uh, mm. look what he's done for UFC fighters. Yeah, everyone's yeah. purses after yeah, jumping. Yeah, I'm, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. talking about all this extortionate money he's getting paid. Yeah. Everyone's purses after jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's getting looked after properly now. Mm. And fair play to. Well, that's his guy with the red panty. You know, you know, if you're on yeah, a Conor McGregor card, you're making yeah, money. Yeah, you know? yeah, making yeah. Yourself, yeah. Super, yeah. absolutely. Sure, he's put, after putting the spotlight on Ireland. Like, exactly. Yeah, he's, he's have you? I was going to say that. Have, have do you get young lads now, like fresh new young lads coming into the gym? That's almost like a water down. They've seen McGregor fight. They're getting into the UFC. You're a gym. They come in and uh, they want to do. Lads you know? come in and they don't. See, they come into our place and they don't last. That's the problem. They come yeah. in and they believe that you can b- become a Conor McGregor without, you without, without training. I used to do without, UFC. Yeah. I used to do UFC, yeah. <laughs> without training hard. You, you, start, you give them a few hard classes and they think, oh my God. And then I think, if you think that was hard, if you did one of McGregor's sessions, you'd die. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They don't really... People haven't a clue what fighters go through to ah, get to where they... Yeah. They haven't got a clue. Like, I, the grafting that goes in, people don't Years ago, there was a... Um, I can't... I'm not up on football now, but there was a footballer at Man City years ago and Ricky Hatton went and trained with them for a day playing football. Ricky Hatton apparently was very good at soccer when he was young mm-hmm. and that. And then the guy returned the favour by going and training with Ricky Hatton. Eight minutes into the session... He was on the floor gasping for breath, yeah. like looking for oxygen. He, eight minutes. And he went on and said, I play 90 minutes of football yeah. every weekend. Completely different and eight, yeah. eight minutes with Ricky yeah. Hatton taking it easy. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. so I, I remember like when I was training with, you know, Steph Moriarty. I, was, I yeah. used to train out in Legends with Steph and I, I, I knackered me back, so I had to knock that in the head. But I went back uh, a few years later, the doctor sort of told me not to, but I went anyway. I went to jiu-jitsu. And I start doing jiu-jitsu. I thought, jiu-jitsu would be easy. You know what I mean? You're on the <laughs> ground. You're in pajamas. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> you're in pajamas. <laughs> it's just, as much as you're, you might be in a position, you're there dominating a the position or being held down and you're constantly fighting and you don't realise it. It's only when the class ends and um, you take off the, the gi, like, and it's like, yeah. get ready to be laughing out. and your gi is absolutely dripping. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? It's, yeah. it's just, it's, yeah. and you're going home I know in we your do. bag. I know what we do. We'll get, we'll get you to go the courage on a Monday and they were training session oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you have a seminar coming up with Darren McFall actually yeah, don't yeah. you he wants, so. me, he wants me up to up to, up to his place his new, his new gym to do a seminar some weekend yeah. I'm just we'll go to that we'll go, obviously for your talk we'll go to that and we'll get to as I said to you in a message I'll bring out my bane you can bring your joke <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing one as well with uh, Billy O'Sullivan on the 31st of this month so anyone water direction Kilkenny you know what I mean it's a long trip for lads making Dublin Dublin yeah. that but I'm doing one in Billy O'Sullivan School of Kickboxing, so they're moving into the K1 a little bit more than we used to, and he just wants a bit of work, and he's thinking there's a he has a guy down there as well uh, at the moment. 
big guy about 95 kg he has like 100 fights in k1 kickboxing and tie boxing and he kind of wants to me to meet him as well and have a bit of a chat and see can we get him in the fight scene over here so looking forward this guy about 42 but if he has 100 fights it's pretty serious yeah yeah yeah. yeah. so come here let's talk about um an event that the lads always ask me about when i go down to announce uh, cork it's just, it's like Martin Horgan flies over to Thailand, bottles uh, it, and brings it home, I love isn't it? It's just, Ireland, Ireland's done peony, but... Yeah, Ireland's, it's, yeah. it's, it's something else, isn't it? It's favourite yeah. place to fight in Neptune Stadium. It's fucking it's first place I had my first C-class fight, like, and I remember walking out there, I was like, Jesus, like, this is fucking amazing here, like, you know. It's just the buzz. Say into my head, like, this is where I want to fight, like, But you know? the, someone always, there's always, there's always one fight at them super shots that steals the shots. Yeah. 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 You're, you're down there and you go, yeah. who's it going to be tonight? I remember Ryan, yeah, and, Ryan, and it, Ryan, it, Ryan Sheen in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 you could hear, I was here, I was, I was in the back getting ready for my fight. And I could hear the roars outside, and I thought... I t- there was two ties fighting on the show that night as well. And I thought rung rat yeah. was after getting into the ring. I thought, Jesus, r- rung rat must be out giving, killing their man outside. Yeah. And, and you know, and then they came in. The, la- the ring, while he came in, he goes, Jesus, Jesus, Ryan was in some fight there. He goes, what, what, did rung rat just fight? He goes, no, that was Ryan Sheen's fight. Yeah. I, said, I said, oh my God, the buzz in the back. Oh, I am he is some, he's some kid though. Ryan Sheen is some kid. Oh, yeah. Some, player, yeah. yeah, I mean, that, that's... Unbelievable. Is, I love to see the level of Thai boxing. When I came back here and started the gym, the level of Thai boxing was out here was good, but now, oh my God. Different it's, level now. It's gone through the roof. One guy I love watching as well, we had him on the show, Craig Coakley. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. He's just oh, superstar. Like, it's the P4P, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll it, tell you, and and you talk about young fighters, Daryl Flood. Yeah. Oh, 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 love referee. Oh, I'm the closest yeah. back to the action. Love yeah, being stood yeah, with that kid because yeah. you don't know what's going to come out. Yeah, yeah. And I swear, I stand back in some fights when I'm refereeing, I kind of relax a little bit. But I'm always ready to dive in because yeah. I can just see Daryl screaming a leg and so, kneeing so, him in the mouth so, on the yeah. way down or something. He's oh, tough. Well, his, his last love two him. fights yeah, on Warrior oh. have been. You were yeah. like, oh my yeah. God. He's just. And like, he's only like. He's 17, isn't he? He puts on elbow pads and opens a gash in the guy's head three inches long. Yeah. With elbow pads on. Oh my God. The kid is. I love He's absolutely phenomenal. Where did you take some elbow yeah, pads yeah, off? Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Damage done then. But some of the stuff he throws, like the audacity. It's, like throw, it's all the extras. Yeah. That's, I mean, you, you watch a lot of Thai boxing and people think a lot of lads on the outside uh, look at Thai boxing as, as basic striking, but it's effective basic striking. You know, Golovkin, Golovkin isn't slip and sliding this, that, and other. He's just moving his head slightly mm. and banging people. Yeah. It's beautiful, basic boxing, and no one wants to fight him. Mm. And that's what Thai boxing is. It's a basic enough style, don't get me wrong, but it's basics with venom behind everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So Liam Harrison's low kick. Liam Harrison's yeah. left hook. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But when I, I went over to Thailand with um, Infusion there in January, when I went over, Mohammed Jiraiya and stuff were there. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I sat, yeah, Vinny, Vinny Sharman was holding pads for uh, Mohammed. I'm sat there just going... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Isn't it? It's it just looking bring, at him, yeah. you know. It, it, it brings it back down to yeah. yeah. But now you're just looking, <laughs> and he like Jeroy's only like nineteen or something. Yeah, he's only younger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, well, yeah. and it's real funny because you're watching him d- doing what he's doing right in there. Going, Fuck me, that's unbelievable. And um, he's watching him sparring and stuff. He's doing it, yeah. and then you talk to him, and he's it's like talking to a kid. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. your real. How's it going? How am I afraid of you? <laughs> it's, weird. it's so weird. He yeah. still owes me a t-shirt. He went to his room. I'll, I'll get you a t-shirt now. No, he never came back. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but then, like I say, you, you go on about the basic side of it, but then you look at Sanchai. Yeah. You know, oh, you, you, right. He was there when I was in Thailand. Yeah, actually, but you've been yeah. looking yeah. up to watch. You've been looking up to watch him yeah. fight as well, and you see the level that that strike and his striking level is. He's he's another one of these he guys. He's the Matrix. And sure, what's his name? Clancy only fought him over in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Fancy some boy, yeah. didn't he? <laughs> he some, him. some pair and of And he fought him with the. That's what yeah, he's fair. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's your favorite Irish fighter. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> outside of outside yeah. my own gym, Clancy's the boy. Is he? Clancy's the man. Oh. He's so active as well. He's already fighting the whole thing. Yeah, I'll, fi- I'll fight any man. That's the thing about Toy, isn't it? Is in if you look at MMA fighters, they probably fight unless you're Donald Trump. Everyone thinks Donald Trump is mad because he fought like six times in a year or something, yeah, didn't they? Yeah. That'd be fairly regular though for yeah, a Toy fighter, wouldn't it? Yeah, over in Thailand anyway. You look at Ryan Sheehan there. You look at Ryan Sheehan. Ryan Sheehan's took fights with like three days' notice. Paris Milan, yeah. he was flying all yeah, over the place. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's he's a super kid. Him you, like you he's tip, a, yeah. you tip your he has some that, heart. Yeah. Ryan Sheehan. I mean, if you don't have heart in Thai boxing, forget it. Yeah, that yeah. kid has some heart. I mean, you were going about the night you were in the change room. He got spinning heel kick in the mouth, knocked flat on his back, jumped up and won the fight. Yeah, 
Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Great kid. Great yeah, guy. again, he's, he, he was on when I put up the video. He was like, I oh, want in. And I'm like, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. No problem. We'll sort it. Like, we'll sort it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he is a top lad, yeah. Top but again, just bringing it back to Cork, like, there's, there's just that weird, isn't there? There's just that crazy. You know, in saying that, Cage Kings Dublin had the same sort yeah, of yeah. Vibe. the vibe was vibe, is yeah. fucking yeah. that feel yeah, but yeah. it is it's it's really weird especially when i went to thailand and experienced thailand like i was in cows movies so i was doing uh, Chawang yeah. stadium and when i experienced that and then came back and then yeah. done cork yeah, it was like love for it, don't this you? is fucking like yeah, this yeah. is like thailand yeah, like because yeah, yeah. it's, cool. uh, it's really weird when i first started announcing i was doing mma shows yes yeah, yeah. and it was uh chris boyan got me to do one of his pfc shows yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, i sort of never really watched that style of fight and i i, I remember watching it, i was going jeez this is really you know it's real it's from a, a novice perspective as in looking at it, yeah. it's easier to watch yeah. and understand than MMA in a yeah. sense because the ground game True, and, yeah. you know, when, if, if if someone goes to the ground in MMA, I believe while you were guilty when it happened in cage games, uh, they're fucking hugging one another. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when no, that happens, you might, you know... It's you, the level you're watching at as well. Yeah. You, you, it's great. You watch UFC on the ground, right? You've got a camera. Yeah. It may as well be on yeah. top of the boys, so you can yeah. see everything. You can see what's but when, been done. To watch yeah. cage fighting in, in, in uh, the yeah. basketball arena, we'll say, for instance, two fighters go to the ground, you're looking straight in at two flat bodies on the floor. Yeah. Let's have, let's I have mean, standing up. It, it, c- yeah. it could be top-level grappling that's going on, and you can't, can't see, yeah. see none of it. I'd be sat two lads are standing on their feet. Yeah. You see everything. It could be a rubbish fight on their feet, <laughs> and it's more exciting than yeah. top-level grappling well, on the ground. Doesn't the new rules state that you have to bring in screens for the fans as yeah. well? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 yeah, there's new rules coming yeah. in where you have to have at least two screens in the yeah. arena yeah, that's, so that's, people can that's see that's it. Brilliant. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah. What you were saying there as well, well I agree, because even at like the highest level show here, apart from the UFC, when Bama came here, I'm sat. Like, I can do that and touch yeah. the cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yet, when it goes house. to the ground, I go, yeah. Yeah. Big screen behind me. They could be literally... Where you are, Dylan, to me. But I'm like that. Do you know what I mean? And it's really funny when you watch it back and you're watching the fights back and you see me, K-Side, and all I'm doing is going... (laughs) And you're like, it's there! Look at it! Like, it's there! (laughs) You look at at Paddy 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 Hulan, like... Yeah. He's a lovely little grappler. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, super little grappler. Uh, I mean, taking the back, switching to armbar, switching to triangles... The guy is on the go the whole time on the floor. But if you can't see that, how can you appreciate it? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, makes sense. And like, I, I know nothing about grappling. You get me a lad that's been grappling in the gym for three weeks, he'll get me down on the floor, he'll probably beat me. Mm. Okay, Rip, he'll, have to, he'll have to get me down on the floor first. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. but what I'm saying is, I still can appreciate that. Yeah. I, yeah. You know what I mean? Taking someone's back in Thai boxing, taking someone's back in jiu-jitsu. You're my bitch. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you know, people try and take someone's back in Thai boxing. It's not easy. Yeah. yeah. Same thing in jiu-jitsu. To try and actually take someone's back in jiu-jitsu. It's not an easy thing done. No. Some of these guys make it look so easy. That'll tell you the level they're at. Like it's, mm. it's true, yeah. No, we, we did it. We have a uh, guy, Anthony Broxton, did a bit of grappling in our gym. Just for some lads that had that love of MMA, we brought them in. And uh, the guy could sit on you, drink a cup of tea, and there's no way you get out from under the fucker. Yeah, do you know mm. what I mean? And that's when you, you have to appreciate all yeah. levels of fight, all rounds. And you have to appreciate all fighters. Do you know what I mean? Okay, he, Thai boxing is my he love. Do, he used to do a bit of Thai boxing. So yeah, he, he Thai boxing. Cl- we do a clinch and he'd just give you his neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. He did his hands down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you'd take his neck and next thing he just yeah. twists it. And it's like he's got a steel. He ties in a fucking knot. Oh, when, I, when I was doing Jiu Jitsu, like I, I, was, I was on your white belt. Like I, yeah. And when I went in, you'd be. You had to do fundamentals and you had to get up to two stripes. Uh, to, each belt is four stripes. Yeah, yeah. So you had to get up to two stripes before you could attend the sort of advanced classes, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd start going to the higher up classes and um, you'd, you'd be rolling with a guy, let's say a purple belt or even a blue belt, you know. And especially when you're with a brown belt or something, you'd be thinking, Jeez, I'm in a great position here. You know, you'd be giving yourself an old pat in the back. He's setting you up for a trap. Yeah, yeah, setting you know. up. He's, He's letting you... With two moves ahead of your Exactly. Yeah. So next minute you're going, Jesus, this, this fella's a brown belt and I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm in... Co- what? Have you? Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the difference between like jiu-jitsu and my title. You know, like in jiu-jitsu, if you come up against a fella who's been doing it for 10 years and you've been doing it for two years, he's going to beat you every time. Mm-hmm. But in my title, it's like no one's going to have some special technique that you don't know like but who yeah, uses it more yeah. effectively yeah. Mm. who's the more effective except for Damien Dark like... spinning heel kick you walked us up into that point and then we the living dead comes back to live oh fuck here comes Big Red he had to sleep on the floor for a week after that because he kept jumping out of bed but right so 
with with the Cage Kings, and if you had to choose, if you had to choose, you're given, you're offered a, a ring fight, toy fight, or a cage uh, cage toy fight. What are you choosing? Same night. What are you choosing? Oh well, we know you want your belt back anyway. Yeah, we know that. That's just for sure. But um, no, like I, 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 I like I fucking that for the fight there in, in February. Like I gotta be too big for my boots. Like I, I we'll talk about that now. Like, yeah, go on. Um, I, I did have a game plan to go into I, I, I that. Was ju- <laughs> I was just after fight. I was just after fighting Willie Murphy down in Cork, and there was like no injuries, no no nothing, and I was say like, I'm in a fairly good shape, yeah. and um, I was I was having two weeks on the piss, and I came back into the gym and checked the way the way it was good. I was like, fine, let's we'll do let's go over, yeah. let's let's go over. And Wally was like, it's three weeks away, and things. I'd be grand. He never did a three week ah, fight camp no, for no, any fight. Stupid. Well, he did as an ah, amateur, like stupid though. No, you need at the, if I had eight weeks. I like the cage after eight weeks. Mm. I like the ring after eight weeks. I do love the cage. I fucking love the madness. I love it, but no. I, 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 I prefer it when you have an eight week camp. Mm. No, this fucking this shit. I did. I got big, too big. I'm, I'm bulletproof. I'm fine. I'm grand. I'll be okay. Sure. I fought him twice before and I bet him twice before. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he made me eat some humble pie and hats off to him. Tip, tip my hat to him. He's a feather in his cap because he's the only man to ever put this man down. Mm. Yeah. But don't worry. I'll be back. Yeah. I'll, I'll get my belt back. Mm. You yeah. could see in the fight though as well though, like the fight, Hodgers piled it on and landed some shots, but you did land some good shots in there yeah. in the fight as well. But I, told had, you, I told you what the doctor said after the fight. If that yeah. got stood to the road, yeah, it, it was getting stopped. stopped. With the cut. Cut. But people don't realise as well about that fight. People like, oh, maybe Walter should have threw the towel in earlier. I was just reaching around for the towel and my son was in the corner and he was doing the timekeeper and he shouted, last 30. And as he shouted, last 30, I think it was either starting an eight count or finishing an eight count. And I was screaming at James. After James landed the cut, he stepped in, he landed a couple of good knees and he, he landed a big cut. And uh, I knew, I knew the blood came so fast from the cut, I knew it was a fight finisher. And I shouted at him to back off. Nah. He, he seen blood and walked on. He seen blood and walked on. Because I thought, oh. I thought now we're now we're gonna just take the easiest night. Because he had a hard fight, Willie Murphy. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I thought a nice easy night for James. That's what he needs. Let the body recover after this. I thought back off. I wanted James to back off and let Carl come to him. And as Carl, because desperate man will, will always throw hands. Yeah. And I thought he'll throw hands so desperately he'll fall into the clinch. I'll get teeped, and then we'll clinch him for the rest of the round. And then I know, I know that everything that was going on. That week with health and safety yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That cut, yeah, that yeah, cut was, was that long. Yeah, it was. And it was good, right yeah. up the middle of his head, bleeding into both of his eyes. <laughs> All right, so the fight was over. And look, Carl got the fight. That's it. Hey, yeah, you I can't. This game we're in. This is not one of those games like where you go fifty fights with fifty wins. That doesn't happen in mm-hmm. Thai boxing. I always say I've got one of the cleanest records in Thai boxing. But I often stood in the middle of the ring and I didn't know I'd won. It was that close. Yeah, yeah. I got the nod of the hat on the night. Maybe it was because I fought in England and I had fucking three hundred people watching every one of my fights. I used to live in an uh, area called Levensum and it was absolutely just trunged by Irish people. The landlord of the pub, the main pub, was my sponsor. He used to put up big posts of me with an Irish flag behind me and bill every one of them as, as Ireland v England. Mm-hmm. They used to coach loads of lads coming to watch me fight and, and maybe that extra little bit of noise pushed me over the line every time. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But to go, his record is unbelievable. He's the most active fighter in Ireland, Thai boxing, beyond Danny. There's no other fighter can tell me they're as active as him mm-hmm. and achieving what he's achieved. Do you know what I mean? So. And what is the game plan? Is the game plan to get that belt back um, or just uh, to... Look, I'm not. I'm not. Look, the way I see it, if the fight comes up, it's there. Next Cage Kings. Next if Cage we're Kings. asked, will we're you asked. fight Carl Hodges on Cage Kings for the belt? Yes, of course. Yeah, He's of never course. ever turned the fight down. No. I don't and, turn and fights down. And he loves. He he, he loves the fact that he was. He look. He was the first person to ever fight in Europe in a cage in a cage tie boxing. The first mm. person ever. He was the first champion ever in Ireland of cage of that cage tie boxing. The belt belongs to him. And it just, it's gone on a holiday. These mm. things go on a holiday. It'll be coming home soon, don't worry. <laughs> well, I, I remember actually when you were fighting Kirby the second time. That's crazy. And I was actually doing that uh, show at the time. The bride, yeah. And I had said to you about, they wanted, they asked me to film a fighter that always reacts with you. And I'm like, God, doggy always reacts with me. We always, when I announce you, especially in cage, there's always a little bit of whatever. Uh, and they wanted that. And uh, I remember talking to you before, they said, Donkey, and he said, look, I'm not going to go near him. He's too concentrated. He wants his belt back. Yeah. And I remember when, when you walked in and I introduced you, 
I remember the guy who was filming going, which, which one's James? They didn't really... I said, look, I said, he's all about business here now, pal. You know what I mean? Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't give a fuck about your little TV yeah. show right now. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was, and that, like... As the amount of times I've announced you, and we all, when you walk in, you could, the way you come in, you know what I mean? It's always that little, you know, I love that with fighters. You're one of my favourite fighters to announce. Oh, yeah, there's a handful of fighters that react with you, and, and there's always that bond. It's a weird thing. Like, it's deadly. I love it. I feed off it. But that night, you were completely different. You were focused. You, that belt, you just wanted that back. And you were right up until, was it the fifth round, until you started to drop the hands, and then you start. The yeah, Joker yeah, came yeah, out then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was brilliant. Was the yeah. round? That was like third round. Oh, three. three rounds. Yeah, listen, three rounds. The, yeah. Like, the first time, the first time, again, probably you underestimated him a little bit of the yeah. truth, you know, and he underestimated yeah. Kirby. Yeah. And he did exactly the same thing as he did with Carl Hodges. I had, I'd war- I warned him, you get tagged in those gloves, I, you, you have to take a step back with MMA gloves. You get away with the boxing gloves, there's a little I'm bit more. I'm bulletproof, I'm fine, yeah. I'll be and, okay. And like, I'm grand. Mm-hmm. I've never been knocked out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, James, whatever. <laughs> yeah. He knows me, he, he's like me dad. Oh, he's yeah, he's yeah. like me dad. Like, he knows me better than anyone else. So he went in for the second fight and I said, every time Kirby lands a clean shot on you, step even back. if it doesn't hurt you, you step back, have a you look. take a little breath, have a get look. your hands up, have a look, and he destroyed Kirby in the second mm-hmm. fight, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. That's what it's all about. You, ha- you learn from your mistakes, lads. You learn lads. from your mistakes. You, know, you learn from your mistakes. Like even Anderson Silva, you said it, yeah. sticking his head up in there, got yeah, caught. Yeah. He didn't do it again. He hasn't been doing it, sticking his chin out. So you, George St. Pierre done the same with Matt Seary, underestimated yeah, Matt Seary. Yeah. Yeah. Got the biggest upset in the MMA yeah, history, yeah, I think. Yeah. 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 Like it's the losses that make good fighters great fighters. Yeah, yeah. well, that's that, I like believe that. I don't think years ago it used to be you have to keep your row. Yeah, exactly. I, I think yeah. that's... No, like it's coming nah, back nah, from a loss. Nah, that's nah, harder yeah. to do. Like, so, you know, yeah, like, I tell you, to win a fight after a bad loss is some achievement. When I lost the car, I wasn't... I wasn't as pissed off as much because I was just sick of training. I needed a break, and I did. I took time off. And yeah, I went yeah, off yeah, and yeah. I had eight weeks off, and I just didn't. I was like, I don't even want it anymore. I don't even want. To, like I was, I felt like I didn't even want to train anymore. Yeah. And I took. I needed time away from the gym to, to come back and want it. <coughs> and exactly. I took. I, I came back in, and I was just I went running, and I had one one good night on the pads, and that was it. Was it? Yeah. No, we want it again. No, we had our chat. We, we, we had our chat. We, 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 we had a chat. We had a chat. I had demons in my, oh, demons in my head, and this other fight coming up, like the WBC fight. W, I was like, I don't know if I can even do this, Wally. I don't know if I even want it anymore. You know, mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah. we had a chat then, and he said, Look, you're down now, but you you know that you'll get you with the right with the right camp with the right real training. real fighters. Real fighters when they lose, it hurts. Mm. It, really it hurts. hurts. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've had, a, I had a fighter. I'm not gonna. I won't mention names because I wouldn't put anyone down. But I had a fighter in my own gym, and all he'd tell you about after losing the fight was the positives. Mm. There's no fucking positives when you lose. Uh, my motto in my gym is: look bad winning. It's better to look bad winning than look good losing. Uh, mm. There's no such fucking oh, thing as look I, good oh, losing. The pictures will be dead. The pictures are going to be deadly for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm like looking at them, but you lost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of a big scalp. You were fighting um, Bezo, uh, Bezioff. Islam, yeah, Islam. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. A, he's a top and fighter. A lot yeah, of and player. a lot of people uh, yeah. when that was matched thought, yeah, oh, yeah, this is a did. tough fight. Well, like, that's the way I've always been like, you know, like, yeah. even against Darker, no one really. I don't think a lot of people gave me a chance in that either because mm. he's one of the best kickboxers in the country, probably. Same with Islam, like he, after me and Wally were doing a ring hire with uh, up in uh, Tommy Myers show. Tatters, yeah, yeah, t- mm. nice venue. And Islam yeah, was fighting. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Islam was fighting Brian Amos that night, like, and I was sitting at ringside with. Um, Sitting beside Shea and Keen, Keen Cowley, like, and we were kind of watching it, and uh, I was expecting it to be a close fight, you know. I was hoping Brian to give him a bit of a fight because it was two weeks before our one. Mm. But sure, first round, Islam fucking made bits destroyed of him, like, spark, him. absolutely yeah. destroyed him now. Like, and I was, oh, kinda, I was kind of watching him, like, right, this fella's fucking business, you know, like. Yeah. I'd, say a- I'd, say after, I'd say after that fight, I'm like. fighting him two weeks, Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, like, a lot of people, I'd say after watching that fight, were like, Jesus, this, 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 yeah, like. <laughs> and he did, he, made, he made eye contact with you after the yeah, fight, Yeah, he did, yeah. We he gave Dylan a little wink, and I was yeah, thinking, you yeah, bold like, fucker. <laughs> But it was a great fight against those Islam, brothers, Islam, Islam, yeah, yeah. Islam and Aslan. Fight, they, are, they are top mm. level fighters. Yeah, top mm. level, uh, top level fighters. Top guys, the nicest yeah, yeah, lads you'll nice ever meet. Well, yeah. Him and Islam after the fight, the crack between yeah, the two. Yeah. Will you do it again? Of course, we'll fight again. If he yeah, wants yeah, a rematch, exactly. you can yeah. rematch. What, what weight were you at after? What weight were you after the fight? Because I'm about eighty five today. You're like a big teddy bear. <laughs> Grab all the meat. I couldn't even move. That's yeah. it, like, yeah, yeah. That is that, he's, he's a top, top lad, level. though. I love him. Yeah, he's a great lad. Top level. Because even during the fight, I remember there was one part where um, 
he kind of hit me with something, and the next thing he threw a front kick up and it hit me in the face. And I was yeah. kind of smiling at him, like, come on, so like, he smiled back at me. Yeah. And I hit him with four or five kicks, like, I put him up against the ropes. And that's kind of, I think that's what kind of kicked me on. I need something in a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Same with the darker, yeah. at the very start, that's when it hit me. It's like, right. Okay. And against Islam, it was bang, it was that, into the face. I was like, right, come on, so let's Plus, fucking do it. Like, what people don't realize as well, him. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Dylan's coach, but everyone has their pad man in the gym. Yeah. Everyone has their training partner, and, and Dylan's training partner, Sean Long. And I don't know if you I ever get. I don't know if you ever get up close enough in between rounds to hear what Sean Long says to Dylan. Like <laughs> he abuses oh, Dylan. Like you fuck, you fuck, you fuck, you call him a ginger fucker. Fuck fuck I love fucking him, ginger like, fucker. Get this job done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without him. Like you know, no. he's the one that really took me under his wing. Yeah. So Sean Long is great. Sean, Sean, like, Sean Long is great in the corner because if you're doing shit, Sean Long, I tell you, you he won. He won. He won. He got. He got. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what you want. You want yeah. the good car man to say. Yeah, yeah, of course you do. Like yeah. you look f- at to g- give Ron this thing. Like yeah, like how frustrating after is round that? After round one, Edmund turned around and said to Ron, "Doing a great job against yeah. Holly." Oh, Holm. bullshit! Do you know what I mean? So at least, yeah, yeah. at least Sean's telling you, oh, "Look, man, yeah. like, come on, you change your fucking get your act together." You know what I mean? My my game plan with Ron the Rosie would, as a coach, I would have said, "You're going to do absolutely nothing for this next round." Yeah. To let your brain recover from yeah. the beating you just took in that round, yeah. and you're going to stop her in the next round. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, go in and take more punishment. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Holly yeah. Holmes is no joke. And Holly is a counter striker, so she probably would have let her kind yeah. of stand in front of her yeah. for a while. She yeah. would have got away with no problem. Yeah. And not only that, lads, we all, I know nothing about MMA, nothing about MMA, but it's easier to take someone down who's coming at you than mm-hmm. someone who's stepping back yeah. away from you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you time someone with a one two, Holly was throwing one twos. Yeah. If you time someone's one two and you drop below that, Get behind their knees with your hands and get your mm. your shoulder and you, they're down. Mm. If she got her down on a confident takedown, fight was over. Mm. Fight was over. You know what I mean? Mm. But, false sense of security. You're giving him a false sense of security. Yeah, like yeah. people were giving Ronda a false sense of security about that. But that fight going that oh, they were saying like uh, oh, but sure, if you take her down, you're going to beat her on the on the, on the floor. I guarantee you, she w- she's going to take her down. Mm. And I said, and the people then were kind of going like um, but. Uh, Ronda's very good at her hands now. Yeah, I, yeah. I bet you, Ronda, you, you, you'll beat yeah. her on the feet. You can beat yeah. her on the feet. No? She believed her, her on her hype. F- yeah. Give yeah. her a false sense I think she wanted it. to beat her on her feet because she wanted to say, Pro, oh, I don't just have to take people down yeah. to beat them. Yeah. But yeah. She, she picked she the wrong girl to beat on her yeah. feet. Yeah. 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 Like a season. Superstars surround themselves with them yes men. Then, you That's know, it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is, you know, you're great. You're brilliant. You're yeah. fucking... Perfect. Well, yeah. with more but money and they, they bring more camps, and they're all. If you're no. paying someone a wage to be in your camp, exactly. they're all going to yeah. tell you it's you're fucking great. Yeah. Especially in MMA, you have people like Ron who come in with a judo background, and yeah. she she can get good at striking, but she's never never going to get to that level. Never. No, 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 I'm sure no, it's no, similar no. in like Thai boxing, where yes. if somebody's really good in the clinch. And he yeah. goes, oh, but I just want to, I want to fight on the outside. You're like, why? You're really yeah, good in the yeah. clinch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say it to him all the time. I say to him, you're going to go into this fight and you're actually going to win it at your oldest game of all time. The mm-hmm. game I've been teaching you since day one. It will come down to the clinch and you may not even win in the clinch, but you'll do that much damage yeah. in the clinch and tire him out that much that you'll beat him on the outside then. So yeah, really yeah, what yeah. won the fight was the clinch. Yeah. Simple as that. So you know? Go back to your bread and butter. Like, you yeah. don't... You don't like, like you don't box a seasoned boxer. Mm-hmm. You get into the ring and you know this lad's really he's he done a bit of boxing before. You kind of go right. We're not going to throw hands. We're not going to throw hands yeah, with this exactly. guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're going to low kick him or we're going to step exactly. around. We're going to. I mean, you you look at you look at McGregor. We we're on about before. Probably one of the best strikers on his feet. Great head movement and everything. But you put Conor McGregor against a top level boxer. He's going to get beat up, mm. right? Mayweather or not? What a load of rubbish, right? He, and he needs to realize that's a load of rubbish as much as any. He's been doing everything. He does everything all day. He's grappling. He's wrestling. He's striking. He's a boxer boxes all day, every day. Mm. You can't outbox someone. I know for a fact, we get young amateur boxers don't yeah, into the gym. Yeah, yeah. Young amateur boxers that come in they want to give the Thai boxing they go. They box the ears off everyone in the gym. They've had a hundred boxing fights as a twelve-year-old child, for Jesus' sake. We boot the fucking head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they do. They all. Hey, we all try and box them. Then think, fuck this. I'm going to kick his legs in tension. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I truly believe. Like, why would you? Like, I know, I know. If you get that fight with the likes of Mayweather. That's never happened. Yeah, that's, but, but, that's what, just, but what I'm saying well, is, that it's a big, uh, it's a big they, bag of money, isn't it? You said yeah. it. You said it. Sure, you said that uh, they probably met for coffee and said, "Hey, come on, we'll start a room." Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 
You have Amir Khan now saying he wants to fight McGregor, but in MMA. I'm yeah. Yeah. Fight UFC. Yeah. Yeah. Fight UFC. Amir yeah. Khan just wants to make money. Yeah. Amir Khan it. just got knocked out. He's the only man that's ever done a dab successfully while being knocked out. Yeah. Did you see that? He yeah. goes down like that. Like, yeah. He proper yeah. does. Like, how hip of him. But, but, but like, he's coming off a, a, a defeat. You knocked him out. In what round was that? The six rounds you knocked Amir Khan? Yeah. Yeah. Round that, six. That one wasn't televised. Yeah. <laughs> he got wiped out and he's just trying to put his name out there again. Yeah, That's all he's doing. look, and not only that, lads, uh, was it Prescott was the first one to really bang him out? Oh, yeah, mm. Julian Prescott. What a knockout, remember mm. that? What a knockout. Yeah. Like, Flat never heard, never really heard of again. Yeah. Why? It's all about the team, lads. It's all about who you have yeah. behind you. Who oh, you know. Yeah. Oh. Well, can I always, I was never, I never got behind the high trainer, can he? No chin. No, he no chin. Oh, he no. was, he, lads, Good he has the fastest, hands. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. the fastest hands. Yeah, he's the fastest hands in the world. He's the fastest hand in the world, but he goes back out every time with his left hand low, and yeah. any good coach is going to see that, and he's going to... It was well, it's a big knockout. It's not like yeah, he's yeah. Not like he's bad. Like he's down a few times getting no. stopped. He's getting yeah. bummed, lights out. Someone yeah. should just say it. That chin is gone, lads. Someone his just chin says, is gone. you need yeah. to retire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your chin, your and he has enough money saying. to retire. He has enough money to retire. Do you know, exactly, yeah. that's the thing. Do you believe that you're no more lads now because you you are taking the shots and giving them? But I always go on about on this show as well that fires. It's like your chin has an expiry date. It does, and once does, that yeah. goes, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you need yeah. time out after you get a, a big bang or big, yeah. or you come back after a fight and you've you've. You have to have a concussion. You need to go away. You yeah. need to do no train. You need to do yeah. it a, a mm. month. Just about being smart. Bang in the road. Smart. Running the road is shaking your brain. Mm. You've been concussed and you think, right, well, I'm not going to go back sparring now for six months or whatever, but I'm going to run the roads every day and keep fit. You're just shaking yeah, your brain every day of the week. You're not giving your brain. And you're thinking about training. Like you're, 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 your, brain, your brain isn't resting. Yeah. You need to give yourself one month away, nothing. Yeah. No and, then, and then no come in no sparring then for a while mm. and then gradually pick up the sparring and even and don't be afraid as a fire I, I kind of I'm a bit older now and I've been refereeing I've seen a few bad knockouts and stuff and I'm trying to advise fires don't be afraid to go back into the gym and say to your sparring partners we're not going to go headshots tonight yeah, yeah exactly yeah. we're just going to work with each other I can't I, I need a bit of time you I, you know. do you have to pull fires back sometimes when you come back say after a knockout or a, a bad fight and do you want to get back in do you want to start sparring have you ever had the experience that to pull them back say no you no I, I stop lads I stop yeah. lads I, I mean I, I've had lads that got clipped in the gym yeah. right yeah. Uh, you were who you sure I was meant to be fighting Dylan Vaughan in February Dylan Vaughan, actually yeah. but uh it was about two weeks before the fight. I was sparring at Connor Coyle. There's another lad in the gym, like, because we I was working at the time, so I kind of it was suited us both to be trained together, like. So, but he hit me with a jab anyway, and, and I, as I turned around, like during the round, everything went kind of dizzy, and I kept going anyway. But I kept training on for a few days after, but something just wasn't right, you know. I was even holding pads one day, and I felt like I was going to pass out, kind of. I was moving so fast. And he was uh, doing one. I, I, he was doing one on ones with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, He was hitting the pads. I was like, Dylan, you're not it was, right. It was. It was. It was. I would, like. I went up to the hospital, and they told me I was fine. It was nothing. But well, I kept training, something wasn't right. So I went up again and got some CT scans done. Only about four days before the fight, like, turned out I had a concussion. Mm. So I texted Wally and I kind of said to him, I was like, I have a concussion, but we're four days away. So I was kind of like... No, no, he said, I have a concussion, but I'm still going to fight. Yeah, I said, you're Wally's fucking not. Like, no, you're, you're not. not like, no not way. Not a chance. You know, and I was, I, was, I was fucking heartbroken at the time, like, you know. Mm. I was fucking heartbroken because I really wanted to fight him. But um, week, took time off, two or three weeks off, back into training in for that, for Damien, D- Damien Darker. But for, I think I had four weeks for that then. So it wasn't too bad, like you just know, got caught in the gym. You know? See, when you when you're sparring in the gym as well, the old jaw's a bit relaxed. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. with my buddy. Yeah. And it was just and, a jab, and, like. and, and it was just a simple Connor, jab. Connor's one of one of yeah. Connor's one of those guys. Like, he know? steps in behind punches, yeah. and he's mm-hmm. technically crisp, clean. He's yeah. he's not fighting a lot now. Connor's in college, and he's yeah. doing a, becoming a personal trainer on that. But I'm hoping I'll have him back soon as well because he was starting. Well, he was starting to eat his way through the the crowd. You know, young the the last Cork show. It's Keith, isn't it? Keith, uh, Keith oh, he did a great the performance ferret. down the there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cause yeah. I, I'd, I'd actually, the amount of shows that I always see you guys at, I'd never seen Keith actually fight. Mm-hmm. I always just seen Keith, he's he normally wearing the glasses, and I, yeah, and yeah, I always yeah. see him. Like, but when yeah, I seen him coming out, I thought, Jesus, he, no, two things. He could do with a sunbed. Yeah, badly. <laughs> yeah. Badly. Yeah. And he's one hell of a fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he walks around it that way the whole time. Yeah. And not only could he do with a sunbed, he could do with his own sunbed at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, needs, he needs to get a bit of vitamin D. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm pale, but he makes me he go he fucking... Get, he gets one kick and there's a big red yeah. stripe. <laughs> <laughs> you see yeah. way back after fights. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's like, 
Yeah. 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 Dylan, Dylan's the next Stephen Malidi, uh, but in a different yeah. way. Division. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ginger Snow White, but they won't go back from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just swear to God, if I was a fighter and I turned up and I seen the fellas fighting with Ginger, I'm like, no, uh, me, I fuck my wrist, I can't, I can't fight. There's something. Yeah. What excuse will get me Injuries out of this? Injuries having the warm up. Yeah. Oh, my knee. <laughs> uh, bringing it to referee and Wally. When, when did you officially? I know you, you would have done clubs and stuff, but when did you officially become like, uh, you know, getting hired regularly for all the big shows as well? Um, I suppose uh, I refereed. I refereed a lot of Chris Bynes shows. I was refereeing Thai boxing, but I was jumping in. I don't. I don't really want to go down that line. To tell you the truth, you know, I didn't really want to become mm. a referee of the troop, you know. And uh, Paul Kelly and a few of the boys have said to me at the shows, "Will you jump in and do a few fights?" And do you know, I thought, "Jesus, this is a great seat. Mm. This is a great seat." <laughs> oh my God, I'm right up against this shit, man. This yeah. is coming. <laughs> so then I started getting hooked on it, and then I started watching people like Tony Myers because you, you don't just become a referee; you have to yeah. study the good ones, you know, Tony Myers and Jesse and people like that. Watching how close they stand to the fight. Jesse Sanders. Watch, yeah, Jesse yeah, Sanders, yeah, yeah, yeah. And watching how close they stand to the fight and stuff and, you know, making the right decisions. I mean, I've stopped fights and people didn't agree with them, but I've, mm. had, I've, had, those no. sa- I've had those same people sending me a messenger message saying later on, La- Wally, listen, thanks for stopping that fight. I yeah. was in trouble. I just didn't want to quit in yeah. front of everyone. That, I, I know, was, I know. Yeah, yeah. That, you know. Referee, that referee in, in February or in no, March or Carol, I'm glad he stopped that fight because mm. I would have been put to sleep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he stepped in and goes, whoa, whoa, Well, there was one whoa, second whoa, whoa. left, so you probably wouldn't. I know, no. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know that? Like Cage King's fight. Did you yeah. know that? There was only one second. Two minutes, 59 seconds yeah, at the yeah. first round. So. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rotten one. But, I, but like I said, then I'd I done a lot of Chris Bynes shows and then I got in better and better fighters and I really started to enjoy it and then I was just getting phone calls will you yeah. referee my show you? Just yeah, so, and, and then yeah, people were saying look you're the best in the business as far as we're concerned but for me it's not about being the best in the business it's about just Safety. doing doing your job on the night not being afraid to make the call yeah. I see a lot of referees and they're good referees but they can't make a call yeah. they're afraid to stop a fight if someone walks out to the ring that sold 2,000 tickets and the, the roof comes clean off the yeah, best yeah yeah if he gets hurt in the first 30 seconds, I'll stop that fight. Yeah, yeah. And I actually stopped the fight uh, on one of the Cage Kings where a guy got hurt. I'm not going to mention names because I don't ever... And he got hurt. And he fucking was like a dog with me. In the, but lads, I'm looking straight into his eyes. I know. Right, okay, step back. Let that guy go in. I, if, I, if I rock someone he's gone down, I'm walking straight back in with a straight right hand. That's mm. the first thing I'm landing. And every fighter on the earth is going to do the same thing. Mm. And this guy was, I, I was counting and looking back and your man was like Usain Bolt up against the cage. He yeah, was coming. As yeah. soon as I went Spreading fight, he was coming. And I waved off that fight. And when I waved it off, he started complaining. He went to walk back to his corner and he headed the wrong way. Mm. So yeah, I made the right it's... call, you know what I mean? I always say, you know, I was a good referee. You never noticed them until... You, you need it till they need it. Till when need you're it. watching a fight, there's some referees and they just do things and yeah. it's to get them notices. They yeah, no, no, I, I'm, I got my notice when I was fighting. I don't want my notice anymore. <laughs> yeah. I know lads have a great crack on me and I'm, I'm a bit of a character as well. Yeah. I make fighters feel very much at ease before fights because I feel if I can get them feeling at ease, they're more loose. To, you know what yeah. I mean? When a fighter goes down, I'm counting them. But I'm looking in their eyes and I'm saying, right, take your deep breaths. And I'm, I'm trying to guide them through the count. But if they don't make the count, it has to go. Uh, Liam Harrison fought there in uh, Italy, wasn't it? Yeah. Fought in Italy. Dro- drops a guy with a left hook. Referee Liam knows the score. He ran to the white corner. So the count can't start till yeah. in the white corner. Guy does the count. The slowest count I've ever seen in my life. Guy looks up at the referee as if to say, as if to say don't, don't count. Just stop it. The guy's looking up at him. Let's him up 16 seconds before Liam Harrison was allowed back on that fire. That's not me. You get knocked down, you make your count, he's hitting you in 10 seconds. Mm, yeah. You better be ready to get hit in 10 seconds. I'm fair with everyone. I mean, you get in there some days and it's probably one of those fighters you really love and he's been dropped, but I don't care. I might hate this fucker over here, yeah. but it's his job and he's got to get me out of it. I let him on him after 10 seconds and if he stops him, he stops him. Simple yeah. as that. You know what I mean? Some, some referees as well, I think they kind of... Um, it's a, it's an awful lot of that. They're, they're, the crowd, they decide what the crowd decides. Yeah, no, the yeah. crowd don't decide. Crowd always be, the crowd is always being for blood, mm. being for lads to get knocked out. No, yeah. There's no need for people to get knocked out. No need for people. Like, uh, of course, w- w- I don't like talking about but the guy that got hurt here in Ireland, got killed here in yeah, Ireland. Yeah. People said the referee was bad. That referee has the hardest job in the world. MMA refereeing is the hard. If he could have given him an eight count, of course he would have given him an eight count. Yeah. Had a look at him and said, no, I don't think you're ready to go on. 
He doesn't get that. Yeah. This is the thing about MMA. This is the only thing about MMA. A referee, it's a hard game. And then referees, we say our referee James, for instance. You see the punishment the man can take and come yeah. back from it. Right? So then what you do, you're in an MMA fight and he's down the floor and he's digging him and digging him and you're thinking, yeah, he can take it, he can take it. No, he, it's a, that's the hardest referee in the world. Yeah, I, I might, I'm, I, was, I was often thought I'd love to get into a little bit of amateur side of it just to get a feel of that as well yeah. and get a better love for the sport as well, you know what I mean? Because Thai boxing is my game. But again, it's, oh, it's a hard game to referee. Yeah. Oh, it 100% is. And like they, to that fight itself, Marios was uh, refereeing that fight. And Marius, I don't think he refereed bad. He's, no. I'll hold, I'm going to say it right here. I don't think so either. Yeah. Well. Yeah. He's a heavily oh, no, involved. You don't know what the damage that, that, that fighter went through. That fight, I, well, I watched, I, I was there at the show. I done that fight. And that was, it was an incredible fight. It was an yeah. incredible back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, they were shoveling punishment that yeah, way. Yeah, but I'm yeah. not saying that. It could, he could have damage done before, yeah. beforehand in training. Yeah. Before yeah. The, nobody knows. Weight cut. Yeah. Weight cut could have been bad. It could have been anything. Like, we, mm. we don't know. Nobody knows. It, it wasn't your man's fault. It wasn't the ref's fault. It was But you see, fought. there's there's could be a hundred fights that would end the same way that fight ended. Yeah. Yeah. And like, nothing. Lads yeah. Oh, lads, yeah. lads, we've seen far, far worse three, beatings. Three, 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 I, I'm, I'm saying this. We've seen far worse beatings in the UFC mm. than that fight. Far worse beatings. Yeah. Yeah. Two guys were clubbing. Two hours later, together after yeah. party. Yeah. Next day, woke up fine, lads. There's guys. Well, there's guys dying off bicycles every day of the week. Yeah, you know what I mean. We're in the roughest game. It's going to happen sooner or later, but we don't want it to happen. We have an MMA referee on nearly every yeah, week, every we, every we, once we, in a while, yeah. and we showed him the video, and he yeah. said, "Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that. Nothing like, wrong with it. He was what? continuing nothing. to move. Oh, everyone was like, people outside the fight game. You know, a lot of people hate the fight game. The yeah. truth be known, do you know what I mean? People, and a lot of people were saying to me, "What did you think of it?" I, th- I thought it was perfect yeah. refereeing. Yeah. I thought it was perfect. Yeah. You look, his arms there. There yeah. wasn't many clean shots landing. When and he was, he was trying to move. And as Charlie well, Ward, you know? uh, who was the, the other fighter, yeah. he, he commented at that stage he knew he only had to land shots for the fight. Yeah. He yeah. stopped, so yeah. he was even pulling his punches. Yeah, at that yeah, stage. yeah. He was just popping, popping, popping. Pop. Yeah. I land 10 fast ones, he'll stop. You know, that's yeah. what MMA lads do. And uh, I just, oh, I'm a referee myself. I felt so bad for that referee. Yeah. Yeah. I felt so bad for it. Yeah. And look, he made no mistake. And I'll hold, I, I'll stand up, I'd stand up in court for that guy and I'd say he made no. So, I mean, he's. Brilliant referee. No, well, you no see, the, the thing about it is, when you look at it, uh, Joe Carvalho was the fighter's name. Joe got up and walked out of the cage. Walked out of the cage. And went to the medical room. The issue yeah. happened 20 minutes after. Yeah, or so, yeah, yeah. How many lads have been took out in a stretcher yeah. of the ring yeah. and were drinking coffee an hour later ringside? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So well, it was just a tragic accident. There was nobody to. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we still don't know what happened. Referee. Um, mistake or anything along that line, and you know, so it's it's just a, it was a freak accident that happened. Yeah, yeah freak accident, too. freak accident. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, but when you're refing as well, uh, Wally, you'd also be a bit of a MacGyver when you're on a show as well. There's, I don't think there's anything that can't be fixed by I you. Can fix anything, man. <laughs> I can fix <laughs> that. The top of the bin in the ring, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, no, I, I am. I think, uh, look, I hate to, I, when you, to put on a show. I don't put on shows, but I, we're planning one next year. But uh, I, to put on a show is a hard thing. Mm. So if I see a lad struggling a little bit, if I, if, I see, if I see a little lad struggle, someone struggling with a little something and I can help, I'll do it. You see me there, I, I, I supply a boxing ring to an awful lot of shows. Yeah. But also, Lars supplies a boxing ring. If Lars struggling to get his ring up in time, I give Lars a hand because I know he'd give me a hand. Yeah, and exactly, I mean, yeah. that's if we, I, in the fight game, we've all got to support each other. You get things that happen and you get bad press and all that, but if we all stick together and we all try and get shows run nice and smooth and that. And look, this yeah. game, this game is safer than an awful lot of games. Yeah. I, I've, I have a kid that plays, plays different sports, GA and soccer and the whole lot. There's never a medic. Mm. Never yeah. a medic. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know? We've got seven, eight medics ringside, cage side all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Lads getting their bloods tested all the time. Well, like going with a bottle of water, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sponge in a bottle yeah. of water. Sponge in a bottle of water. And I've been there, like I've played football, I grew up, that was my sport growing yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And like I've been on pitches where lads have broken legs, I've broke a lad's leg playing. And yeah. you know what I mean? There's yeah. not. They're Elbows lying. in the head. No, no lying not there. even lad training I first got aid. Out, I got knocked out unconscious. I was a goalkeeper and being the tick I was, I dived into the post <laughs> and uh, woke up <laughs> seconds later. Later, do you know what I mean? Going, oh, still trying it. to save the ball. Yeah, <laughs> not only did I save it, then, it, not only did I save it, I fucking cut it as well. Uh, good lad, good, good keeper. <laughs> um, but yeah, knock myself out. Okay, well, like that, there's no medic there. Do you know no, what I mean? no so, medic, no yeah. medic, no. And I mean, uh, that that's what it's all about. Look, I I can only do the I can only do the best I can do to protect fighters. At any time, that head kick can land that takes a fighter out. Yeah. I can't do nothing about that. Yeah. I yeah, can't yeah. do nothing about that. I can do the best I can do on the night. Uh, fighter goes down 
and he's lying down I can ho- hold his head in position until a medic gets him I stand back then it's their job after that do you know what I mean so former fighter coach referee yeah. you're also dipping your water and robbing business on me <laughs> 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 MC as well uh, <laughs> so Tommy Show Tommy Show you're standing in the ring Tattersalls, yeah. there's a little bit of time and you decide to tell people something on the microphone oh, yeah. tell us this story about what you told people uh, at this uh, venue I was a uh, MCing for Tommy. I'm not on your level anyway. I give it up. <laughs> I, so I was MC. I was MCing on Tommy's show, and I was just having a little break. So I said, uh, I, "I can't believe what Tommy's done, guys. He's actually paid for two weeks in Thailand, all expenses paid, uh, with two thousand euros each, spending the money." I said, "And the ticket is taped to the bottom of one of your seats. The fucking place erupted. <laughs> <laughs> they were searching under seats that no one was sat in. I left them for two minutes and sat down. You fucking idiots! <laughs> you never told me, did that? <laughs> Such a story. Yeah. Um, you can nick that one. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Abs- You'll be on a little show somewhere. And you can have a bit of crack. Can't do that at the big shows. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I always find it funny as well though, when." You're doing um, when you're at a show, be a club show, and they do a raffle. You know, obviously to raise funds yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always find it's like the Father Ted moment to the fucking show. <laughs> so like that, I always do the lovely girls and you know, and, and call it out like that. But I just thought that was such a story. Yeah. You know another story where you were doing your ring hire, and they basically rang you and said, "Jeez, with no MC." Oh yeah, I was, that that was that was in Galway for Dave Joyce. Uh, Dave Dave is uh, runs his own club there, and, and I was on the way up, and uh, he rings me and he says, "Have you left?" Four hour journey, like I said, of course I've left. Yeah, I'm on my way. Oh, I'm in trouble. MCs after pulling out. So he, I said, Well, what do you want me to do? He said, Oh, could you go back and get a suit or something? I said, Dave, Dave, I'm near, I'm an hour away. It's three hours home. I'm not going home. Oh, so he says, it. He says, Would you do it? I said, sure, I've never done it before. <laughs> I'll, give it, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a lash. Yeah. So he says, he says, look, call. just get here. <laughs> just get here. We'll take you down to the suit hire shop. So I hired me a suit. Did them see him for the night. Again, not on your level, Lord. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I went all right, got the lads into the ring. And it's like I said, we were talking before we started here tonight. Some of the names, like, oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dyslexic to the max then as well. <laughs> 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 we're talking about that as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you no, know, it is. It is. And you said you'll never but forget the name. Pull- so what's that name? No, Toby Olasusi. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Toby. <laughs> But uh, yeah, like I say, again, I wouldn't see anyone stuck. If there's any way I could help on a show, I'd help on the show. I'm there to referee, maybe. I'm doing nothing until the show starts. Yeah. If I can help, you know. Hey, I've the been known the to communities like that. Always, I've been known yeah. to run into change rooms as well and tell us to fucking hurry on because we need the first yeah, fight yeah, to yeah. start or we're not getting going here. And if you're not out, you're the last fight and things start to... I, I, remember, <laughs> me, I remember myself and yourself at a show um, and like that. I do the same. And Lara always says that to me. I love having you... Because yeah. you'll see something that's not right and you'll say it or you'll yeah, get it done. Yeah, yeah. And like that, it's a real community that we all do. That, but is, yeah. I remember the same show I went to to say, right, come on, fight, start and fight. You know, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I came back in and you were like, and then the two of us went back and you're right, the fuck, come on, the fight's starting. If you're not in the fucking ring, yeah, you've yeah, lost. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. and the things like that happen as well. But yeah. it, it is a it's, huge It's yeah. all about the first fight at a show. Once that one gets going, mm. yeah. show, show flow. Go no one takes it. No one's getting ready seriously until the first lad gets in the ring and then everyone's just right. Well, I'm on next, I'm on next, I'm on next. Yeah. Better hit pads. Yeah, yeah. And if there's something, do you have a ritual back, backstage when you're warming up? Do you have something? All, all different. It's all different. Like I say, he James likes to be left alone. I go to sleep. He likes to, He goes to sleep I first to sleep. of all, then he gets up and he has a warm up, and then there's no fight talk. No fight talk. Uh, I'm Dil- a very Dil- angry person. Yeah, yeah. Dylan, the Dylan, emotional person. James doesn't. James <laughs> on doesn't my want, period, really. He doesn't, <laughs> want, he doesn't want. He doesn't want any advice to after round one. No, yeah. Yeah. After round one, true. I can That's talk true. away to him. Uh, Dylan. He don't mind getting G'd up a little bit, you know. Uh, you, you mentioned Keith Wall. Keith Wall was on a bit of a lo- losing streak. Yeah. And he don't mind me saying that. He was on a bit of a losing streak. And unless you train someone, you don't know. This is a kid that walks around every day of the week at 52, 53 kgs. Every day. Cuts no weight, no weight. whatsoever for fights. Brick. And, and, <laughs> and takes every lad in my gym to pieces unless they put weight on him. Mm. If any of them yeah. match him with his own weight... They're at nothing. This kid is talented. Yeah, you I mean, things and you're I there mean, so they're going, what the fuck was that? Yeah. I, 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 I'm telling you, you've seen him in his last fight. Yeah. He had to have the fight talk. I said, Keith, you lose this fight, forget about it. It's over. 
It worked. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. First round he KO went by he went out mad. He, first round KO by needs a head. I said the ring. There's only one area in the ring he uses. His back is glued to the ropes all the time. You watch that video. Mm. He sidesteps him. His back yeah. is on the ropes. And not only that, when a fighter can't Scary get it, little when a fighter doesn't get a little bit <laughs> at the middle of the ring, it's serious pressure, and he mm. he stopped him with a nice knee to the head. So it was a great performance yeah, for Keith yeah. that night. Yeah. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you, Wally, to listen to some Elvis. And we're gonna ask the lads. We're basically <laughs> robbing. Um, no, we've come up with this real original. Yeah, idea we didn't of rob it at all. And yeah. Coaches didn't. Uh, I think some TV show, Mister and Mrs. Do this as well. Yeah, yeah we're, we're definitely gonna get this wrong. So we're gonna t- we're gonna test your knowledge was at a, of one another. Yeah. I was at a wedding last night. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is one of those Mister and Mrs. shows that they get all the fucking answers wrong. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, I try this. Yeah, so we, we can, yeah, we'll, we'll send you to the end of the room, so yeah. we can edit all this now, so. Yeah. 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 Is the bar open? <laughs> <laughs>
What's your worst training drill that he does? The one that you hate, the torture rack, if you like. Jesus. Oh, I was, I, yeah, I, I, bear I in mind your answer here. He's probably be all doing it on it Monday. Him <laughs> one on, it's him one on one. Huh? It's him one on one. That's true, yeah. But no, I hate anything with mountain climbers. He does all these, these hit things, high intensity interval training recently, like. And it's just always, like, at the end of class as well, like, after the hour, mm. he's just like, right, everyone out into the room, you think you're finished, and he's just there. Put the buzzer on, he won't tell you how long it's going on for you. He's just like, right, just do this at this buzzer, this, you know, like, mm. and just keep going to the yeah. stop. You're just like, oh, Wally, fuck off. Just leave, just <laughs> leave me stretch <laughs> off, please. Like, yeah, don't put exactly. me through this now. Uh, we're so, not done yeah. yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so, over yeah, yet. Definitely, all please. those hit sessions at the end of class, I'm just like, oh, stop. <laughs> 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 Shut up! You're still not supposed to be. This is our part. This is our part of the show, not yours. <laughs> and you would you be the same in that? Or yeah, you know, it's one. It's, it's him one on one. one him one on one on on pads mm. because there's no man. I can I could someone can hold pads for me all day and I'd hit him all day long. Yeah. He's the only man that can get me tired. Mm. He knows me so well. He knows what I hate. He knows what I hate. Oh, it drives me fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he does like you know. You need it though. And I'd be there. I'd be there then. You know. I think to myself then. I'd be kind of nervous. Yeah. Before he holds yeah. pads me, I'm kind of like, what's he going to do today? Yeah, yeah. You're kind of nervous going in. Doing. You're kind of. You're driving in I'm the, the same, car. Like, yeah. Driving in the car. Yeah. Going into it. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, oh no, what are you? Please, <laughs> <say>. <laughs> and that's exactly. It's him one on one. Him one on one on pads. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, favorite fighter of all time. Any any fighter, any sport, favorite I suppose. Favorite fighter of all time, uh, Muhammad. Think you, your favorite fighter, of Muhammad Ali. Team. Muhammad Ali, definitely. Because even when I was when I was a kid, like I used to love, bo- I used to love wrestling. First of all, WWE, like. Yeah. But then I kind of, as I got older, I kind of grew up with that and started getting into like actual combat sports. Yeah. Like Muhammad Ali was always the one. Like I was just fucking. Good transition. I, I, I Good talker. Him when I was younger, like you know. Yeah. I was just like, geez, this lad's fucking amazing. Like, and then I went from boxing, like discovered Muay Thai then like you know, I get into Muay Thai but even still like Muhammad Ali is mm. just he's the king like greatest combat sport or greatest combat fighter of all time like I think so yeah definitely Prince Nazim Prince Nazim yeah. yeah. fighter of all time <laughs> wow I was going to bring it up when we were talking about fighters you didn't fight well. remember you fought Barrera was it Barrera well, I didn't. Yeah. that's what everyone always brings up they go oh you, you yeah. fought Barrera yeah he, be, he bit him he bit the shit out of him yeah but oh, he, he was Nas as well, but Naz he was slick yeah. you know, yeah, he, yeah. You know just looking at someone and, you know he, yeah. like I know I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a fucking prick for dropping my hands down and yeah. then I get like like my fight, my second fight with Corby, like I got, I, I, I got too confident, like you know. Mm. And then I thought the same when I got in for the next cage fight. I was, I was doing a bit of the fucking shifting mm. the shoulders and dropping the hands. And Willie Murphy said it to me after the fight. He says, "What were you doing? Doing the Mayweather shit? You never do that. <laughs> 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 Fuck's sake! Like you should have just grabbed him in the clinch. You were fine, you know. You just give it out, you know. But um, it's Nassim and Hamid has been Nassim. Nassim, that's interesting. Mm. Um. Right, so, so who he think he's that? Yeah. So who do you think is the laziest trainer in your gym? As in, who's the worst trainer of all your sparring partners? Or Jesus as please. in, who always moans <laughs> or, or gives it? Or who will Wally oh, think Morgan. you're going to say? Yeah. Morgan. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, I suppose Morgan. Morgan, yeah. yeah. I have great time for Morgan. Yeah. Morgan's a great, is, she's, she's a great <laughs> laugh, but she's the laziest. But yeah. Wally will go, we're doing pro... How many push ups are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we're hitting the bag just like, oh, we done, yes, you know, but uh, uh, yeah. So we're both in agreement on that. Yeah, we're both in agreement with yeah, yeah. 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 agree with that. Yeah, agree that 100% of that. He'll know that too. He'll know that too. What <laughs> is your best technique? My best technique is um, kick, right kick, left kick, any, any leg, even the knee, I suppose. Anything with my legs, pretty much. I feel like I have fairly, I have fairly solid power in it, so we go with the kicks and knees, yeah. I've got a few favourites, like it's, but I think it's my left knee. That bad boy there has put down more boys than mm. than in my career. Like anyway, it's, it's always the left knee that puts them down. Mm. Always, the, it's always the knee all, on the way into the clinch. It's not grab him, clinch him. It's when you're working into the clinch, mm. step in knee, boof, that that baby there. I'm a, I've more fights. I could bring you DVDs and show you. The people go down. That knee hurts people, mm. and I know for a fact. And I think it's just because they don't expect it on the way in. Mm. It's definitely the knee. Definitely. Well, uh, go on, here we go. Here we go. You, this is where we get silly questions now. So, if you can marry one celebrity, who would you marry? If I could marry one celebrity, Jesus. So many to choose from. <laughs> um, 
I have fucking answer already. Misha, <laughs> <laughs> Misha, Tate. Misha Tate. Oh, just because she's a fighter Tate. and she's yeah. a very good-looking woman. So uh, Misha Tate, there you go. Misha Tate. <laughs> Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Yes, she's mine. <laughs> she's mine. She's mine. Yeah. I can see a meat in her hair. You. You are mine. This is uh, one each, so they're they're kind of different. So the first one before uh, we got James Force, we mix it up. Um, you're known as the Joker, but if Wally was a comic book character, who would Wally? Who would he be? be? Oh my god. Or who would he answer? Who um, would he be? Oh, who would he be? Who would he be like? Not sure. His his nickname is Skippy. Like. Yeah, so but does he have to be a superhero? Superhero. Or a villain. Or a villain. Any kind of a villain. comic book character. Or what would his answer be? Yeah, what do you think he'd Who say? Would his, uh, what would his answer be? Oh, fuck, I can't, I'm trying to Where's get Where's Waldo? I'm trying to what? <laughs> Where's Waldo? <laughs> Where's Waldo? <laughs> character from the book. Where's Waldo? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a comic book character. Yeah, 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 but he's a comic book character, isn't he? Yeah. Where's Waldo? Okay, Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Yeah, but no, I'm trying to think. No, there has to be someone better than that. There must be. There has to be, like... Who would you put him as? I think Skippy the kangaroo. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. No, kind of, hey, there's no kangaroo the road for the Tuberos, is there? No. The roadrunner. No. No. Who would he be? Fuck's sake. That's really a puzzling. Like. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Come on, we have to think of someone. Like. Uh, I wouldn't put him as a villain. Like. He'd have to a be. Villain, yeah, no, he has, no, he wouldn't he's not be a villain. villain no. like. He's going to say someone. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really have to baffle me there that one. Now. Right, you have a think about it. Yeah. We'll next go to the next one. We'll come back to We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. that. That's yeah. fucking annoying me now. That's yeah. annoying me now. Well, who would, but someone that he'd say. Okay, so you're being Chris and Big Red. This is, I presume, from Kane. That's where we're yeah. getting yeah. from. Yeah. Yeah. He's the Big Red machine. So <laughs> if Wally had to be a wrestler, what wrestler would he be? Shay, help us. You don't know. What would you say? Who would you say, like? Wally's Wally, we're getting help here from his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> off camera. Yeah, off camera here, yeah. <laughs> 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 the wrestler. Who they put Wally as? Move here for a minute. Sit up there for a minute. Who they put Wally as? No. <laughs> Sit over here for a minute. No, I'll let him alone. So. No. Um, <laughs> who, who would you say? Who? Brock. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brock Lesnar. No. No. Oh, have you seen him injecting stuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, you know that. He doesn't like Brock Lesnar, no. He hates Brock Lesnar, sure. He wouldn't say a Brock Lesnar. Oh, he would have had him down as a Rick, Rick Flair or something. Rick Flair, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spin out that banana. 16 world champion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, fucking hell. It's another <laughs> one again, isn't it? We got, we well. got with Rick Flair. Who, they're puzzling ones, they were like, I wouldn't. Yeah, no. Do you know what I mean? He'd probably Hulk Hogan, like, he'd probably pick, because that's probably, he's a, Hulk Hogan would be his era. Like. His, yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. Great heart or someone. He looks a bit and like Great heart. And he's your Quick. He's super, he's villain. Ah, uh, he's, he's done that to pay, pick Batman, would he? Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez, I don't know, James. Oh, Superman. That, that's annoying me. Like, Superman. Superman. Man, call he, him like, Superman. Grant. Just say he says Superman. Got, we have them all. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Well, he's going to bring... S- he's going to have... Fair right. enough. Turn well, off. Well, that was annoying me, now. You're back. You're back, now. You never know what we were talking about. No. <laughs> you never know what we were talking about. <laughs> right, so basically. No laughing one, I'm here so you can take the piss out of me. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea of this basically was we asked the lads a question um, and they'd give their answer and see do you know what, what their answer would be. So how well do you know your so Before we start, I'd get more wrong. Yeah. All right, I yeah, know, I'd say you get a few right. Yeah, so, uh, you get a few right, definitely. Here's yeah. a taste of the first one, so Rob will give you so the first it's one. For, it's for both lads, so you can answer for uh, Dylan Forrest. Yeah. Right. What was Dylan's best performance? <sighs> Dylan's best performance. Mm. See, a lot, a, a lot of people would look at best performances as when Dylan destroyed someone or something like that. But to pull it out of the bag against Damon Darker for me was Dylan's best performance Dylan said Islam Islam yeah, yeah. yeah no he won it too yeah, easy he, yeah. he won it too easy he won it too easy against Islam yeah. so and then for James ah uh, if he answered any other fucking answer I'm gonna knock him out uh, he, against Aaron O'Callaghan oh. Was James? Oh, oh. No. 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 oh you no. need a slap in the mouth, you know. <laughs> fucking hell! It's going to be a long drive. Uh, yeah. Kirby, Kirby too. Uh, Kirby too. Kirby too. Relax. 
Ah, get out of it. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I picked that. I, I won fucking hard fights. They're not fucking hard. Exactly. Blood, <laughs> snot and glory, boy. <laughs> so then we flipped the coin and we said, what do you think their worst performance would have been? So we'll start with James oh, on this one. Well, James' worst performance was also Kirby. Yeah. The first time. First time, yeah. First time, obviously. That was his worst performance because he just <laughs> fucking. Yeah. No. That's that's an no. eh, eh as well. <laughs> Why, what what did he answer? Hodgers, Carl Hodgers. No, 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 no. That was just a mistake. That was just a mistake. Yeah. 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 And then Dylan's. Dylan's worst, worst performance. performance. Yeah. Fucking hell! Worst performance. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh my God. I've I've trimmed him a couple of times this far. <laughs> 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 I missed him an overhand right one night and I thought, fuck it out. Uh, no, his worst performance. I can't. I actually can't answer that. I've never seen Dylan in a bad fight. That's a good answer, though. Yeah. Yeah. Answer, yeah. I can answer that, honest to God, yeah. The answer you did give, though, was um, Eric Deneen. Eric Deneen in his first, 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 yeah, his first one. Ah, yeah, I, I, don't look back, I wouldn't look back and shout like that. No. So what you're saying is they're overcritical of themselves. Yeah, they're overcritical yeah, of themselves. Yeah. Yeah. They're giving you all the wrong answers. And all that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> uh, who are the lads' toughest opponents? Who would they say their toughest opponents were? Oh, toughest opponents. See, James, is, it, this is tough with James. This, James has been in some really, really tough wars. And I mean, again, we could go back to the Iron One. Uh, a fight that really stands out for me with James is Gert. A guy from England, but um, uh, from Dean James and Tony Tony Myers trainer, toughest performance. Toughest performance. Yeah. Uh, look, Dylan's first of all is dark, right? Yeah. Has, 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 we got one right. <laughs> 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 James is toughest performance. His toughest, toughest opponent. opponent. Is fought, yeah. yeah. <laughs> James getting agitated. No, I, know, like, I, know, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. <laughs> See, I should know this one. Yeah. But sure, I could name fucking five and they'd all be right. Yeah. I could name five and they'd all be right. Like, that's why this is so hard for me. Uh, I wouldn't. I'm not going to say Carl Hodges because no. that was again a mistake no, as far as bad. as far as I'm concerned. Um, the toughest man he's ever fought. Toughest man he's ever fought. I I I'm gonna I'm gonna pass because there's too many answers. Honest to God, yeah, give, one. give one, give oh, one, give uh, one. Tough. I I would say Gert was the toughest guy James ever fought. I mean, he fought a guy in, in Scotland now before. Um, can't think of his name. Can't think of his name. Ages ago, but no, I I go with Gert from England. Oh, that was an ex. That was an ex. Who is it? What a chat. What a chat. Yeah. Makes again, sense. Not, again, not your toughest performance because it was just a clever performance from him. Gert was a real war, a war of a fight. I and, love the way you're getting the answers wrong, but you're basically yeah. then yeah. telling them that no, yous are wrong because <laughs> this is the reason. I know, no, no, no. I know. I understand why he says worth a try as well because he was just he was another he was another one of those lads like the Matrix just couldn't be touched. I'm thinking about doing something and he's seen it yeah. before I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know, no, I can un- I can understand why he said that, but when it comes to toughest performance for me, it has to be a tough fight. Has to be. It doesn't matter if he won or lost. He did win against Gert, but oh my god, they absolutely need the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. super fight, <laughs> brilliant, another top class fighter. So then we brought it to the gym and we said, "What's the worst drill or exercise they hate, hate right? in the gym?" Worst drill or exercise? Oh, I do so many nasty ones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so what did what did Dylan say was his uh, oh. least favourite we'll put it that way and I did warn the lads be oh. careful what you say because they're probably going to end up doing this <laughs> I'm not going to get an answer right here today. <laughs> I have so many terrible drills I'll tell you something I have a quiet gym I have a quiet gym there's only probably 10 lads that train in my gym all the time a few that are struggling now and it's my own fault I train people fucking hard <laughs> and they don't come back for seconds you know what I mean but I'd rather I'd, as long as as long as I can pay the rent I don't really want a business out of it, do you know what I mean? As long as I can cover my rent and have good lads like the lads sat beside me, I'm happy enough. Um, we do we do 
things like we do milling and sparring. We do the rope. We do milling and sparring is very hard, very hard drill. But at the same time, again, it's not really. We do the rope. We don't do that anymore. The rope. No, you don't do the sparring mil, mil, anymore. No, 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 no. But I have. I done milling and sparring yeah, 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 years ago. Yeah, I'd say the rope. Rope is one of the hardest. Hold, hold out a rope. Uh, waist height. Sprint with the knees to the rope, then burpees straight after that, then into whatever. Then, and that's yeah. that's that's a very very hard one. I mean, I've killed every single one of them on that one. Um, uh, so that's that's one of them. And then your your least favorite. You've never complained in your life about fucking anything. <laughs> what? No, really, what, what? You, you know then. Technical that. stuff. No. <laughs> Pisses him off because all he wants to do is no, let a fuck no, over. No. Uh, you're re- I, I, I nearly give you the we're answer g- for Dylan's. I'd, I'd give that, you that as oh, right. That's right, yeah. It's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's, 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 a that, that's a ding. Yeah, that, yeah. that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Ding. James hates circuits. No. No, I don't know then. I don't know. One-on-ones with you. One-on-ones with me. <laughs> yeah, I do. the only man who can get Yeah, but he never complains. I fucking... That's why I couldn't really give you an answer. You know, I see people like there's a girl in our gym and I will give her a mention because she's the longest lasting in our gym is Stephanie is her name. And as soon as... Stop, you're giving it away. As soon as as you mention anything to do with squatting, that girl just looks at me like she wants to fucking stab me in the face. Yeah, yeah. So Uh, so who's the lad's favourite fighters of all time? Of any, any, any fighter, it doesn't any have fighter, to be toy, yeah. MMA, it can be Anton. So, who's Dylan's favourite fighter of all time? Favourite, um, is it a tie? There yeah, it can be any sports. Is it a tie with back. him? Well, we'll give you one clue. They're both not toys. They're both one not toys. toys. One of them has to be Roman Deckers, isn't it? No. No, fucking hell. <laughs> so, they're, they're going MMA than the twats, are they? No, no, no. 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 Uh, King before, man. King before. Back One more clip. We'll go. We'll go. They're both they boxers. Box. They're both boxers. Oh, they're both yeah. boxers. Okay, no. clue. Um, Muhammad Ali. That's a ding. Yeah. 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 Uh, I only said that because he, he, he had to be one of them. Think about me. You in a boxer. You know this. I can't again. Can't give you an answer. I think of a wanker and then think <laughs> of a boxer. Think of a wanker and think of a boxer. Is he still boxing? No. No. Uh, boxer from years ago. He's about 300 pounds now, so he's not boxing now. <laughs> 300 pounds now. Uh, he's a boxer? Yeah. I can't answer. Sorry. Yes. Mike Tyson? No. Uh, yes. No. Prince Nassim. Ah, oh, that it? fucking wanker. I'm, <laughs> glad <laughs> see? I'm glad I got that fucking wrong. <laughs> Fucking Naz is fucking yeah, the, oh, it brings up the Barrera fight. Uh, yeah, the Barrera. and the Barrera knock fuck over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if you had to pick the lads, what they think their best technique is, what's the best technique? Oh, Jesus. James is clinching, and yeah, definitely. Um, definitely clinching knees so for James. Okay, that's a ding. That's a ding yeah. Jesus, I could yeah. say the very same about Dylan, but Dylan is an, also a seriously powerful kicker. And that's a ding. Ding, ding, ding. 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 Now we are warmed up. Now we're warmed up. Uh, oh, now warmed up. Now we're going down a different route altogether. Yeah. So if the last could marry a celebrity, if they could marry a celebrity, what celebrity would it be? Dylan would marry um, celebrity. You're always changing. You're always talking about different celebrities. All the time. <laughs> D- James. Yeah, uh, no, there's only one. There's only one. Halle Berry Catwoman or something like that with a lunatic uh, uh, Dylan Dylan first of all that's only one for me you know uh, and you know when you hear the answer probably. yeah well uh, you'll, have, you'll have to give me an answer well I'll give you a clue only fair Dylan's is involved in fighting is involved in fighting yeah he's a fighter yeah and James's is an actress James is an actress Dylan's is in UFC yeah uh, best looking woman in the UFC. Best looking woman in the UFC. Who would you pick? Oh, what's the blonde one's name again? <laughs> her head slid. Uh, her name. Oh, I love the one you're Yeah, it's not her. It's not her. No. Mm. Uh, Who's the little blonde when you're thinking of? Cage That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's yeah. the fittest bird in the UFC, man. What are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> he, he likes he likes the older woman. 
<laughs> Dylan's into no the woman, is it? No, no, no. I think that's I think that's a no. That's, that's a, a, no, no. Uh, it. Nisha go. Tate was a uh, Nisha Tate. Yeah. She's a stinker, man. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a horrible stick on this show. <laughs> and uh, it was James' no, actress. She's a great fire, but she's not. James is an actress. An actress. She's probably in fucking one of these movies, isn't she? That's always watching these fucking superheroes. She's not in a superhero. She's not. Now that's all the clues. Right is she in right. movies or is she just in? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm the clue. Go on. Neil Cunis. I don't even know who the fuck that is. <laughs> she was in Ted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Did you ever see Ted? Yeah. Yeah, she was the board in Ted. That was going oh, yeah, she's all right, actually. Yeah, not bad choice. She was good lad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this one, one is. Uh, I'm glad you're not asking me these questions about my wife. Yeah. Because I'm getting them all wrong as well about her. It's, uh, <laughs> it's individual. So James, known as the Joker, mm. if he had to put you down and give you a comic book Com- superhero or villain, who would you be? Oh fucking hell! I don't know. Uh, superheroes. Mm. This would be a well-known superhero. One of the originals, I suppose, wouldn't he? That's what you call mm. it. Some old bastards. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know uh, Superhero Superman obviously Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dylan known as the big red machine um, yeah. So he's a WWE star WWF yeah. for our generation yeah, yeah. So if you had to be a wrestler If I had to be, be a wrestler Who would you have been if you were a wrestler I uh, should be back in the days The only time I ever watched wrestling I don't watch it anymore so I'd have been Hulk Hogan, I suppose. Hey, a <laughs> <laughs> so it started off, apparently you know a lot more about... Wrestlers. <laughs> and who would I not be? Fucking Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> and in the distance show with Brock Lesnar. And uh, uh, we like, oh, fucking hate Brock Lesnar. Yeah, yeah, I hate <laughs> Brock Lesnar. So oh, how, how did we do answer-wise? We get Bollocks. Uh, Carol Vardman to count up the scars yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Four out of twenty oh, or something, yeah. was it? That'd be good for me. I, I usually five, got 40%. five for Dylan. Five out of nine, is it? Yeah. Five out of nine. Oh, I didn't do bad. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Half no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got your diamond and crusted. I did bad on James, and the fucker's been around forever. Yeah. <laughs> well, in fairness, like the he's like a mole on your ass. I loved can't about go it because you, you got the answer wrong, but then you gave the reason why it was yeah. right, yeah. and, and, then, oh, yeah, and then he realised why I was right and he was fucking wrong. Um, um, James is. Do you know what was wrong with me? I was just all that was going through my head the whole time there was Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> we sent him off to listen to Elvis. So yeah, Two Elvis. Is. Two. <laughs> Two. So the reason he's on um, in studio this week is because he's uh, attending a show. This by the time this goes out, the fights happen. So congratulations to yeah. <laughs> uh, James' sister Hannah's fighting tonight. Uh, which is we're recording here on a Saturday, so it's fighting on Rob Carey's show. Um, yeah. So that's why he's our up. So it was great, great to have you in. What's what's coming up with? Give us a, a tag out or a shout out to Ant that you want to advertise the gym. Or but look, we'll up. we'll give a big shout out to <clears throat> the next I Am Warrior show, and I hope I'll have three or four lads on it. But uh, Dylan wants a shot at the title. Yeah, when we're saying that now. I'm saying that first. <laughs> Dylan has to be in line. For, I can't see lads line up to fight him anyway. and he's he'll fight. At the 78 division, 75 kilos. division. Wayne Grant has the belt like. That's Wayne, what I want. Here's yeah. your opportunity. Like, here's your call out time, man. Yeah. Go like for I feel it. like there's no one else at the moment no. there for me. Like, I've proved myself now. I beat Islam. Like, looking at the Moyer in rankings, I think Islam was number two there, as Wayne was number one. So now I've slotted into number two. So, yeah. like, it seems like the right fight for me at the moment. I think put yeah. me in the ring with him, I can do it. Like, obviously. A it's a good fight. Exactly. Like, as well as that, I think I've been, I've been thinking about it a lot recently as well. Like, you know. I like to visualise things in my head before it happens. So we're just getting what's the going on. <laughs> 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 Ew, I don't know how you're about it. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not, I have to give this a little bit more. Uh, oh yeah, we will do. As well before we get finished up. Mm. Like I was saying, I like to visualise things anyway. Like, so no, this is what he's aiming for. This is what he's aiming for. He's aiming for yeah. titles, and he wants titles, and. Like I say, yeah, but like, like I have beaten in my head already, Wayne Grant. Like I've beaten him a hundred times over in my head, so put me in the ring against my dude. So they are Martin Horgan. There's a fight to match. Yeah, go, yeah that's Please. a fight for Martin Give Horgan. That's a fight for Martin. And like, like I say, if Wayne isn't willing to step up, and if he's too busy, I understand fighter schedules. 
Let's get two lads in for an interim belt there exactly. and let Wayne, f- let them fight Wayne again for the, the proper one. That's all one. Dylan the deserves it. He is, lads. Here for you, you, have you have to understand, you have to understand, right? People may have said the Damien Dark fight and all this. You have to understand, this is a kid that walked into that fight with 10 fights. Walked into that fight with 10 fights. That's amateur and pro. 10 fights in total against a guy that has over 100 fights. Over 100 fights. This boy, this boy is wrecking records already, and I mean his record records, right? James deserves the shots as well. James probably would have got bigger shots by now, only for he comes from a little gym in Tipperary that doesn't have the highlight that all the other big gyms have, you know what I mean? And that's hopefully over the next couple of years, that's what we're looking for, James, European world title shots, you know? And he's going to give anyone a go. The best, the slickest fighters out there, they feel his pace for long enough. He can he can achieve them things, you know. I didn't get to achieve them things when I was fighting. So my way of achieving these European titles and world titles are through the boys. So yeah. that's what I'm looking for, you know. So there, that's that's still in calling. Well, well, requesting. We won't say calling. No, we're requesting we the fight. We don't, he, we don't, wants we don't, fight. he wants the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He wants the fight too. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Make it up. Yeah. And James, what's what's next for you, man? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I just see this bad boy here. Yeah, WBC belt is going to open doors for James and we just want to see what's going to come off the back of this. Um, like I say, he's, he's been very busy this year. Not saying he's not going to fight again this year, but if there's anything out there big enough, we're not just taking any fight now. No, we're not yeah. we're, we, we've done enough of that. We, we filled in spaces in a lot of shows. He still won the fights now. But we, we filled in it. Now, now people are going to start paying a little bit more wonga, first of all, for James. And the... Uh, he's proved who he is. He's bet. He's bet the best of men. If he hasn't beat them, he's took them all the way. And I tell you what, I can guarantee you, they woke up worse than him in the morning. So mm-hmm. he, it's we're we're, do, we're down we're down now for you. We're, well, we're not. We mightn't get. We mightn't get European t- shot. Yeah, this might it might be a defense of this that comes first. Yeah, yeah. It might be a defense of this that comes first. But we want. We're we're asking. We're asking people out there. We're a small gym. We're not. We're going to bring a fight game to every show. If you have a chance for us to fight on one of the bigger shows and get him for a European title, James, that's what we're looking for. And we're looking for Dylan's we're first. We're looking for the first, next first, step. Like, that's, that's, first, that's, that's, that's next. We're looking Dylan's the next first step. Irish title. We're not going to bite off more than we can chew and say, mm. "Oh, I want to fight for a world title." Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. bullshit. One European. You, yeah. know, you, you want. You want to take Lads, the next step. Any of you that know the Thai game, right? To be a world champion in Thai boxing, you and fight, I've always said this. I've always said this, and I say it over and over again. If you want to become a world champion, a genuine world champion, that you can turn around at the end of the day and say, I was a world champion in Thai boxing, you've got to fight a tie. You've got to beat a tie. You've got to fight a tie. John Wayne Parr done that. John Wayne Parr won, won, won his first world title in, in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And won, the, and won his first world title. Lads, that's you see, they, they come to Ireland, they're fighting Irish fighters, and they're doing, they're doing us a favour. They take an Irish fighter through five rounds to be nice to him. They mm. could stop him in round one if they wanted. Mm. So, you know, this is the level they're at. So, yeah, become a European champion. Become a European... That, that is a massive, massive goal in Thai boxing. So that's, that's what we're looking for next for James. And then we'll fuck him in against a few ties and we'll have a go at the ambassadors as well. <laughs> a few Japs as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, look, lads, absolute pleasure having you in. Um, best of luck. Tonight, even though this is going out, so you're listening to this, it was a Saturday night. So, best of luck and congratulations Hannah. to little um, James, <laughs> Hannah's James' sister. After so, all, yeah, you know. the Joker, are you, are you coming out to Harley? Uh, no, not Brandon, yeah. not Brandon, not Brandon, yeah. 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 Not Brandon yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, just like I say, he's done me an awful lot of favours, Martin Horgan, in the past. He's got an awful lot of my lads' big fights. And he's he's brought lads in from across the country and uh, England and France and wherever he brought lads in big time fighters got James on his shows and I want to big give a big shout out to Martin's yeah. show in October yeah, and lads sh- get to this show if you haven't been at twenty second of October yeah, dates yeah, confirmed twenty second of October Simon Warriors Neptune Stadium Martin Horgan is the best promoter of Thai boxing in he's Ireland the he's the ambassador the ambassador yeah. of my Thai no it is and like I spoke about we spoke about it previously on on shows gone. Like Cork, yeah, it might seem like it's far away. It's down the road. Jump in the car, get a yeah, gang, you go down. Go down. I, it's I, an experience, I, like you'll see no water. You see the best toy fighters. The video doesn't do anything. You have to. Yeah. It's, believe it or not, believe it or not, it's the same distance from Cork to Dublin as it is from Dublin to Cork. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exact same. Yeah, it just feels longer coming <laughs> on, man. 
the but, car, boys, always come up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So look, it, it is like I've experienced it getting to see the best seat in the house sitting yeah. by the ring, and yeah. it's just something that I absolutely love. Um, it's phenomenal. It's an honour to look at you as lads. Fight. It's an honour to call your names. Um, even though I say them wrong sometimes. Yeah. Um, not, anymore. not anymore. We've got over that one. <laughs> yeah, but um, it, it truly is an honour to do it. It's great to watch his fight. Um, I look forward. Hopefully, you will be on the Cork show. Hopefully, you get Wayne Grant. You're fighting for a title. Yeah. Hopefully, you're announced and get a fight as well. Yeah. Well, there's, um, something, there's something might be coming up in England in, in a bit as well. We're not going to talk about that, but uh, we're, we're just ready for the next fight. A big um, fight, wherever it is, we'll take it. No problem. Next step. Yeah. Perfect. So that's it. And listen, as well, Noel, thanks for having us up. And you are the best MC in the country. I'm not trying to take a job. Slash that ego. And listen, I don't fucking try to take mine. So, uh, yeah, so it, if you're obviously listening and you're coming in going, they didn't talk about MMA that much, this was a toy special. We, when you have the last, ah, oh, we did, we used to talk a lot. But, 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 um, no, we, we, we like our MMA, but we just love our Thai boxing. Yeah. Yeah. So, as always, we're brought to you by MMAMix.com, here from the Whiskey Fair in Dunleary. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. You can find us on Facebook and obviously Fight Talk. Same on YouTube channel, obviously Fight Talk, and Instagram. On Twitter, we're at talk underscore fight. Check us out for all the content for the show. We put up some extra stuff as well have you got subtitles for this for for this one we'll probably have to have (laughs) subtitles Um, but again lads thanks a million best of luck over the weekend and in the future and um, Dublin as always you're beautiful we love you safe home and good night